Show us your fucking stuff is here, everybody. Am I really dark? It just depends what window I've got open, everyone. Guys, not going to lie, for the first time since my first, maybe my second stream, I feel nervous. I've got nerves in my tummy. I've got a little butterfly family who's just moved in. A daddy butterfly. And another daddy bu butterfly. And two daughters. Lovely. How lovely. Um, I'll tell you why I feel slightly nervous. One, because there's quite a lot to get through and I've got to try and remember. I had a drink last night. I don't drink much these days. I d yeah. I don't really drink that much these days. I went and saw my auntie and we drank wine. And I don't, especially, I do, I drink beer every so often, and I, but I especially don't drink wine very often. Because when I get hangovers, I get nervy. I get like anxious. Anyway, is this entertaining? Um, how's it going? We're doing Shersha Stuff. For anybody who doesn't know, Shersha Stuff is like a, I was going to say game show, but there's absolutely. No winners, except for you guys who are watching. I suppose you're winners. Um, Ice, thank you very much for resubscribing. That is amazing. You're a legend. Resubscribe for one month at tier one. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, show us your stuff. That's what I was talking about. Is um, It's not a game show. What is it? What is it? It's like a um, primetime entertainment show. Um is it prime time 7.30? I'd say that's prime time, Sunday night. Um, nothing else on telly, just a coffin. Just people walking past the coffin. Is this better than that? I can confidently say it is. Um, 
So what we do is uh, I give a little topic, you guys send in content, I steal content from you to make my channel better, to make you enjoy it, to make me happy, and it all works out really well, I think. I think it, I think it works out quite well. It's an extended reg seg. Um, so we're going to do that. And the subject matter is uh, diaries and notebooks. And that's exciting to me because I went up in the loft today and I found some fucking good stuff. You'll be the judge of that, but I think it's fucking good stuff. Also, I had some submissions during the week. Very good. I didn't have loads and I was like, that's okay. I can fill. And then today, as per usual, I had a couple of last minute uh, submissions and they're fucking great. And all in all, I actually think this could be one of the best streams I've ever done. And it's mostly because of other people's content. We've also gonna have we're gonna have a little update on the Watershed album. Um, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. I'll tell you. Um, and we've got some other cool stuff coming up. But let's say hello to people. Fluffy Pink Blonde was in the chat at 20, 18 minutes past seven. Kino. One sec. The Gak. Uh, Llama, hello Llama, hello M, don't know, Fluffy Pink Blonde again, I'm not going to keep doing repeat hellos, Funkle Albert, how you doing, Funkle Albert contributes, but not in the way you'd expect, Mary Biscuits, hello, Not Nice David, hello, Blake Town is uh, sat in a car park waiting for teenager to come out of the skate park, hopefully your teenager, Blake Town, phone is on 19%, how long are you going to last, Hopefully you're still here. Nineteen percent these days on a on an iPhone or or something. It'll, it'll last. It'll last a while. Um, who else have we got in? Chris, how you doing? Antler Beast, how you doing? Antler Beast, good to see you in. Antler Beast, pretty new streamer. I hope I haven't just uh, said something awful and that you've been streaming for fucking years longer than me. Um, I've been doing it for about four months. Fraz Waffle. Redeemed anecdote for 2,000 channel packs. Gak. Gak. Gacky. When have I been seriously gacky? Most of the gacky times were back when I was at uni and I'd smoke too much. Um, have I got a good gannic, a gackic, ganicdote? I don't think there's anything in that. I think that's a bit of an issue, isn't it, Fraz? I think I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't just open it to anything. There's not always an anecdote about every single thing. But yeah, it is next level level gack, I think. Um, what else gives you a really gacky mouth? No, I'm thinking all the times I've ever thought about having a gacky mouth, it's usually been uh, when I've been really nervous doing a speech. When I was best man for my friend Tom, uh, the aforementioned friend who is no longer with us, uh, when I was his best man, 10 years ago now, I got the gackiest mouth ever, but I was too nervous to pick up my drink because I was worried that I was going to um, spill it or visibly visibly shake. I was shitting it inside. Uh, luckily, I wasn't shitting it outside. Um, oh, yeah, it's jumper weather, so that's good news. Um, eventually, I built up the carriage because my gack was so much and I was on a microphone and I was worried people could hear it and I picked up the drink and I didn't shake but what I did do is drink in a whole ice cube and then had to spit the ice cube out so that's a fact Funkle Albert was there uh, Funkle Albert was there for that and I managed to get an anecdote out of gack thank you very much anyway let's talk more about Antler Beast um can we get a shout out for Antler Beast, please? I have never said anything in Antler Beast's channel, but I have uh, lurked a couple of times and I think uh, Antler Beast does some fucking great, has it already happened? Uh, some fucking great content, basically. And uh, edits together a load of good Rust content. I really like the graphics and everything on Antler Beast's channel. So there you go, there's some love. Llama already did it. Llama, you pro. Anyway, I'm doing a classic 1030 here. I've got the new chat over here and I've got the old chat over here. So let's have a look a bit more at some old chat. Anyway, so it's weird, yeah. I um, I went to the circus yesterday. So there's a little teaser. Let's catch up with more chat. Powerful Calm, we've got some teen angst coming at you tonight. Oh, shit. 
there you go ice again thank you very much for your subscription just checking for my submissions taff man don't fucking send me anything now please please do not send me anything SDGP, SDGP. I changed the D today and the J to J, uh, G. What can I call you, SD? I need another name. You need a nickname. Blake Town's still here, seventy percent. Herford is in. Herford, member of Watershed now. Domella, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Lama says I hate this. Don't know what that was about, but fair. Uh, I look cozy. Yeah, I wonder if I might get too hot to wear this for too long. I wonder if I'm going to have to take it off, but we'll see, because it still gets pretty warm in this office. <laughs> Thought I was going to call you a prick. No worries, Antler Beast. Cool. Watershed, you are a Watershed uh, member. So before we get into um, Watershed stuff and Shersha stuff, Shersha stuff stuff, Shersha stuff stuff, um, I need to close these. Why are guys always rubbing their boobs? I just like touching myself. Um, I went to the circus yesterday. I went up to um, somewhere, don't need to tell you where. Uh, with my six-year-old daughter to see my auntie who used to live in Canada, uh, who Funkle Albert and I visited in Canada when we did our little world trip when we were 18 years old. Um, it was really nice. She moved, she decided to move back to England just before coronavirus. It was pretty shit timing. She was back, excited to see the family and then there was lockdown and she was living all by herself. Anyway, I got to see her uh, and she booked tickets to go and see Zippo Circus yesterday. I haven't been to a circus since i was about five uh big taff man i've spent a week filling a sketchbook with sketchings of you and now i'm not even allowed to submit it um not true is it not true is it funkle albert i'm reading funkle albert's name there and it's taff man who i'm talking to i'm so sorry big taff man anyway we went to the circus pretty cool clowns were a bit shit acrobats were amazing People riding around four motorbikes in one dome. Fucking cool. People sat in front of me. Pricks. Two kids. Hated them. Mother. Shit. Absolute shit. Grandmother. Worst person ever. I'm not going to go into big details because I don't want to... I don't want to be... Who knows? I always like to think, give them benefit of the doubt. What situation are they in? Have they had a bad day? No, these were just bad people. I'm really sorry. They were bad people. The kid, one of the little boys, just kept on standing up, banging his chair, standing up, banging his chair. At one point, I just wedged my foot into his chair so he couldn't do it. He turned around and looked at me and I fucking stared him out. He turned around and he looked at me and I just went, well, I'm not going to do it now because it's embarrassing. <laughs> um, but uh, I fucking stared him down until he stopped looking. During the one of the acrobats where an amazing woman was holding two long ribbons, pulling herself up, wrapping herself up in them, falling down, hanging from her ankles, all this kind of cool stuff. He stood up and went, boring. And that mum and the gran didn't say anything. Because the mum and the gran were on their fucking phones the whole time. Instagramming, the gran was on Instagram, Instagram storying everything. And I'm here and she sat in front of me and her phone's there in front of me and she's Insta storying and she's got, she's filming it. And then she stops filming. She's like, upload to story, upload to Facebook, uh, send on WhatsApp. Um, oh my God, uh, uh, OMG, uh, what an amazing time I'm having. You're not even fucking experiencing it. And I, yeah, well, okay, fine. I don't mind it if people film stuff. I think films, uh, cameras and gigs, that's fine. I like a little memento of something I've been to. When I'm old, I'll forget everything and I can go back and look, watch all my little videos. A little video, a little photo, a little photo of the kids having a nice time. She fucking did, she filmed the whole event and the mum was filming everything and they weren't watching their shit kids. At one point, the daughter just went, granny, candy floss. And the granny just passed the candy floss. No please may I have. 
my daughter was there watching this shit. Oh my God, I'm really annoyed. I hated those kids, guys. I hated them. The audience was sat in front of me. That kid was standing up. He was banging the chair in front and the woman in front was turning around like, uh, this is shit, shouting boring into their ears. The kids were probably six and seven. Maybe Candy Floss was the grand's name. Or her, well, why would she say Granny Candy Floss? Maybe, maybe she's called Granny Candy Floss and that's just how, how she says it. See what I mean, Darcy? There's always another, another angle on any given scene. Did I just quote fucking Scroobius Pip? Um, the grand's probably called Granny Candy Floss. Big tough man cough and say it's good we don't have to isolate now. That would have been good. Grandy Floss, good one. Mary Biscuits. <laughs> anyway, I, I, it was fun. Apart from that, it was fun. And I enjoyed having a bitch about them with uh, my auntie during the uh, interval and the end, when it ended. So that was that. I've just got to keep drinking, guys. I've got a really dry mouth. There he is. I don't need a GAT command. I don't know what's happening. I might just need to eat something. Um, do you know what was happening, though? When I, when I, these shit people were being shit, I was like, I can talk about this on stream tomorrow. And then I was like, yeah, but I don't want to slag people off. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it happened. Anyway, Watershed, let's talk a bit about this. The reason why I want to talk about this is because there's been developments, guys. If you missed it on stream the other day, this is an album that I made, kind of, uh, when I was 17 or 18. Funkle Albert's in the chat. Basically, we started a band. They were called Watershed, named after track 11 of the first ever Foo Fighters album. Um, it consisted of me on drums, Funkle Albert on guitar, but basically he'd be doing everything. Uh, our other friend on bass, and the girl, a.k.a. the name's been revealed. The name will be revealed later on some of my stuff that I found in the loft. Um, who She wasn't... I don't know if she was going to play anything. Maybe the tambourine? Maybe the triangle? I heard she liked to play the triangle. We put an album together. We didn't record any of the songs. If you missed it, that's the track list. I don't know what you can see in the reflection there. Is there anything dodgy? No. Um, these are all the different songs. There's one called My Hand. There's one called Lie to Me Truthfully. There's one called Don't Forget to Remember, which is actually a BG song. And then on a future stream, we're going to Google all these and find out if they exist. Um, I think Numb exists, right? Uh, but Shell, that definitely exists. We shall see. Anyway, what happened was when I talked about this album on stream is that a few people mainly wasps kill bears shout out wasps kill bears hopefully he's going to be here in a bit in the chat because i'm hoping he's going to jump on discord for his submissions for shirts stuff he was like does anyone else just want to make this album and obviously me and funk albert were excited about that and we were up for it and we said yeah let's do it and it turned out that quite a few of you were into the idea and we've even got a discord now i know people like having multiple discords to join um and people have been doing demos and people have been doing little recordings and we've been putting like um, inspiration, like picking out uh, songs from the era around 2001 that um, could work as inspiration. And it's been fucking cool. And so if any of you lot who aren't involved yet fancy it, and you've got some sort of musical ability, you can write songs, you can sing. Sorry, Powerful Khan, it's not on there. Maybe I need to get a link. I should add a link to that. Llama, would that be like really annoying and hard? We should have a link to the Watershed project because I thought it might die out after a day or two, but people are still doing stuff. And in fact, I'm going to play you a couple of the little demos that we've had. Once I have another fucking drink, what's happening? I haven't, I haven't been smoking or anything.
liquid noises. Um, so first up, you guys might remember, uh, can I actually show you anything? No, one of the tracks is stupidly called, if you don't keep up repayments, your home is at risk. And straight away, I can't remember who said it first, Somebody pointed out that sounds like a Radiohead track, uh, Kid A era Radiohead, and and Kid A was, I mean, it's one of my favourite all time albums, and he's definitely an influential album from that time. Guzbo, shout out Guzbo, um, please, is immediately jumped on that, and we thought Guzbo could be great for that, and Guzbo did a little demo, and hopefully he won't mind me playing it. He's not here. The Watershed Project Discord is here. Yes, thank you so much, Lama. So if any of you lot are remotely interested, even if you just want to have a little read or a peruse and, and listen to stuff and get involved, you don't need to play any instruments. I don't. My voice is my instrument, guys. Then um, then you can get involved. Here is what Guzbo's come up with so far for if you do not keep up your repayments. If you do not keep up repayments, your home is at risk. That's going to be perfect, right? Apparently, Gusby said, I tried recording a vocal for the chorus as well, but I'm both not a good vocalist and loaded with the cold. I passed it through the back computer for analysis and it was a full three semitones out of tune. <laughs> anyway, we've got other little bits and bobs, little bass lines here, little guitar bits that Herford's been doing. Um, and as I said, uh, Wasps has been doing some bass. Anyway, Funkel Albert, who... I did used to shout out back in the day before I realised what shouting out was about. I know you're supposed to shout out streamers and not just people. Funkle Albert did today, basically got all his gear out. His family were out. Hello, Divin Inc. Welcome in. How's it going? Um, Funkle Albert's family were not around, so he got to get all his instruments out and have a little dick around. And he started work on the opening track, arguably the most important track on an album shell and in our little mood board section on the discord we had uh the Foo fight song weenie beanie but then we also had queens of the stone age and we realized queens of the stone age could be a good reference anyway fun Albert just before the stream sent me this it features fun Albert singing which is kind of distorted thank you for the shout out for Div Inc. um here's what fucking fun Albert has come up with Everything he's done from scratch with his own hands. feel pride for my friend Funkle Albert's probably crumbling inside with their embarrassment fucking hell Funkle Albert honestly and what he said to me was, I was like, fuck, this is really good. And he said, why, like, why haven't I done this before? He said that he had the idea of making this album properly at some point, but nothing ever got him around to doing it. And then I brought it out on stream and you guys were like, a lot of you guys were like, fuck it, let's do it. And so Funk Albert has always been one of the most talented people I've ever known. 
he like does little bits and bobs here. He has little noodles, but he never makes actual music. And now he's making fucking music. And the whole idea is that it is supposed to be like we're 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 it's, they're supposed to kind of be pastiches of like our favorite bands of the era and our favorite bands generally. So you nailed it, Funk Cloud. But I don't think he's even here. There he is. Look at the praise. You deserve it. And uh, I love you. Um, oh, my God. Things just got really lovely and nice. Right. I listened to the first 20 seconds of it and then I pressed stop because I was like, we need to listen to the rest of this um, on stream. Too wholesome. I'm confused. I know. Um, ah, I wanted to be really wholesome, actually, whilst people were here. I really fucking appreciate that you guys are all here. Uh, can someone clip ad saying, I love you, thanks, Taff. I'll send you a voice note. I think I've said this a few times. I like, I really enjoy it when everybody's here, obviously. Uh, if I was streaming to one or two people, that would be fine as well. I'd still give it my all. But I think one of the best things is all the interaction. I just wanted to say thanks and... I think this is the best way for, for me to say thanks to you guys, okay? Because this is how I really feel. I can't believe that we're all here together at the same time. You're in my chat, so we are best friends now. I think that's how it works. Are you my best friends or what? I provide stuff for you to watch and you provide me with... I can feel the love, is that love? I think it's love, is it hate? I don't care, cause you're my best mates. You are my best mates now, please never leave me, don't go away. We cannot go away, we're our bestest friends. I can't believe we're best friends. Is this not the friends in the world? And you all deserve that. You all, you each, every one of you individually deserve that. Uh, we are best friends, all of us. And I just wanted to uh, say thanks. <laughs> Mary Biscuits' his cat started attacking the screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fraz, Fraz has often joined the queue. Hey. Hey, the beauty of that is that took me like two hours. No, two hours, an hour. Oh shit, I've said two hours already. What I mean is all the other songs I've done, the fucking Prime Sub song, I took fucking ages over and I tried hard and I tried to do it good. I tried to do it good. This, I got in Garage Band, I just made, did some, got some bits and bobs and then I just fucking press record and just sang in like a kind of, rubbish voice and just said what I wanted to say I re-recorded one bit in the middle that I messed up and then I made the video uh, so I think that's what it's all about just freestyle just freestyle didn't even write the lyrics just freestyled and what happened was my heart came out of my body and turned into a video And I'm going to play it again. I can't believe that we're all here together at the same time. You're in my chat, so we are best friends now. I think that's how it works. Are you my best friends or what? I provide stuff for you to watch and you provide me with... Um, I can feel the love, is that love? I think it's love, is it hate? I don't care, cause you're my best mates. You are my best mates now, please never leave me, don't go away. We cannot go away, we're our bestest friends. I can't believe we're best friends. This is not the friends in the world. 
I should have said thank you very much to all the members of chat that met up with me to make the video as well. Oh, such short notice, such short notice. I very much appreciate it. Um, I won't say who you are because a lot of you want to keep anonymous and don't want people knowing what you look like. Oh, Herford, you've doxed yourself there. Well, you haven't really. Nobody knows which one was you. Herford was there. Uh, Fluffy wasn't there. Um, appreciate it especially wrapping up in all those warm clothes when it wasn't particularly cold uh, on shoot day i appreciate it uh definitely a pumpkin spice piss latte at the end not nice david honest i i understand why well okay if you want to say who it is if you want to say who you are that's fine not nice david was indeed the middle of the woolly hat um people originally not nice david was going to be on the other side but then the person in the middle, who I'm not going to reveal, didn't want to touch heads with me. And Not Nice David was like, I will, I will. Um, and we touched heads. <laughs> I got an alert from the BBC saying the UK was having two men silence at 8pm. 8 8pm, 8 And I'm pretty sure you were listening to that. That's for you, Liz. That's for you. Right. What else to talk about? Nothing. I think we need to do... Show us your fucking stuff. Show us your 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 stuff. I'm fucking excited. I'm really enjoying myself. We've had fucking original music from Funk Albert and me and Gusbo. And we've talked about shit kids. It doesn't get much better than this on a Sunday night. Um, show us your stuff. We're going to do diaries and notebooks and we're going to kick things off. Do you know why? Oh God, I just remembered it's going to get even better. I should stop bigging it up really and just let it happen. Um, because we're going to do a little bit of this. Oh, Leonardo, what are you doing there? Let's kick things off. Show us your stuff by showing some of my stuff. So we're doing diaries and notebooks, guys. It's all right, Leo. What do we have here? Yes. Is this working? You don't you haven't got double audio, have you? I'm ready for action. Look at that handwriting. Guzbo, hello. Bear with me. Hello, Guzbo. I played I played your demo on stream. I said, uh, hopefully you won't mind. But we got excited about Watershed and we played your demo. We played a demo that Funkle Albert has done and we did some other cool stuff. Uh, and now we're doing Shersha stuff. This was my homework diary in J... I don't know what that says. J8? Uh, J8, I was in year eight. I was in year eight. So this is my homework diary. Got the classic brown paper. Um, look at this guy. Just spotted that guy. Uh, James Pond. Licensed to Gill. Marion Luigi. Who's this guy again? Can't remember what this rabbit was called. Yeah, Guzbo, I'll pay you some. Um, I'll pay you some stuff for this. I'll pay you some royalties. That's the word, Buster Bunny. Let's look at the back of the homework diary. So I was twelve. Was I twelve? Yeah, I was twelve. Uh, oh, there's my signature. Anyway, I don't think there's much that's actually of any... I don't think there's much good stuff in here. Hold on, let me move my mic. True story, I tested this earlier. I had to clean my keyboard because my keyboard looked fucking rank on this phone. It's not fucking rank. It's just a bit grubby, but it looked disgusting. Um, so I cleaned it a bit. Guys, I lied. J6. So I was in... So what the fuck? I think... In fact, J6. Funkle Albert, you were in J6 with me. 
9495. There you go. Um, don't want to brag, guys. I don't want to brag on stream. But the first thing that happens in this homework diary is I've got Joanne's phone number and then I've got Gemma's phone number. And for Funkle Albert, that's going to be like a fucking knife to the heart because Funkle Albert, I'm pretty sure, fancied both Joanne and Gemma. And in fact, I think Funkle Albert may have gone out with uh, one of them or maybe held hands uh, at one point. Um, Joanne kissed me on the cheek and I had both their phone numbers, which I crossed out before stream because I thought some weirdo might watch this and try and give them a call. Um, the other thing of note, there's not much in this in this homework diary of note. This is of note. I don't know if that's going to focus. This is the word vagina that I've written and then crossed out with a felt tip. You can't really see it. I wrote vagina and then crossed out. Okay, guys. Uh, if anybody wondered what my school timetable was, um, <laughs> did anybody have these stickers? Did anyone have a fun facts? Sunday was it Sunday Times that did the fun facts? I can't even fucking remember. Anyway. This is just, I don't want to brag again, but these are just all the merits that I got, guys. These are just all the merits uh, that I got. Uh, oh, oh, another double page of merits. Don't don't want to talk about that. Uh, and then... I, IS, information studies. First thing I had to do, bring in the 3.5 inch disc. Find the disc. I think that's a drawing of a willy up there. So that's bad. I didn't mean to show that, guys. Uh, I'm actually looking at it now. No, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Okay, anyway, let's skip all this. I'm not going to go through all the homework. I don't know why I fo folded the pages like this, but I don't know why I've stopped folding pages like this because it is fucking cool. Look how cool it is to fold pages like that. Um, in the back, spaghetti lumpy hard. Don't know why I've written that. This is me playing calculator cricket with my friend. Again, that would have been my friend, Tom. Uh, we used to play calculator cricket in maths, which is basically where you would randomize, press the random button on a calculator. And if it, like, if it was over 0.2, you got a certain amount of runs. Anyway, it, uh, uh, you don't need me to tell you. I'm sure you've all fucking played calculator cricket. It's a fucking great game. And that was the first bit of shit to show you my homework diary dork log I'll fucking lay a dork log on you in a minute um, that's definitely a man pissing on another man there I don't know what that bit was <laughs> right let's go over to some submissions from pals not nice David's in the chat I think we're going to look at not nice David's stuff straight away um, by the way, if anybody ever wants to join me uh, on Discord to chat through any of this stuff, they can. I'm assuming that you're not going to want to do that, David, but just let me know if you fancy it. You can. If not, I'm just going to jump straight into your stuff. Uh, we've got some good stuff here, guys. It's kind of following along a similar vein. You don't mind jumping on? Yes, get in the Discord. Okay, so we're going to do this in... Uh, we're going to do this in Pip's Discord. Because I don't have a Discord. Because I don't need a Discord. But I do feel bad that people who aren't sub to Pip can't actually get involved in these chats. So we might think of some other ways. But let's face it, most of us are. Oh, Fraz. The Discord's not there. Right, go into... David, sorry. Go into... Can you see chat, chat, chat? If you can see chat, chat, chat. I can. Oh, yes. It's not nice, David, everyone. Hello. Uh, let's go to images uh, and let's go to David one. Okay, this is great. Talk us through this. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. fucking hideous is what it is. I'm going to turn you up a bit. Okay, go on then. What? What is it? I, Personal I, organizer. Yeah, I, this, I think I'm 14 or 15 at this point. And 
weirdly enough, I was quite into art, but it doesn't look like it really does. <laughs> <laughs> that's some horrendous stuff uh i think uh, yeah i mean i think most people are 13 or 14 <laughs> used to draw people like that in the bottom right hand corner that kind of style mm. those kind of dudes yeah i think i think i had a, a thing for the beano it's definitely very beano that isn't it yeah that is true what else have we got on here is this a bunsen burner over on the left yeah with a little man in it <laughs> <laughs> And then, There's also someone I just noticed that someone's written a death threat on the front of it there. It says, "If you do anything like this, I will hunt you and kill you." Oh, <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't know what that is? Honestly, I didn't spot that before. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's yeah, that's interesting. And what about this demon in the top left? Well, that's the, so the school I went to was a religious school, and apparently I'm I was fully into defacing religious icons. <laughs> wow. Because okay. it's, it's supposed to be a little monk underneath there. Okay. But, uh, I made him into a demon. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Right, let's see what we've got. Uh, this should just go to the second one. Okay, big news, guys, on Saturday. We don't know what year it was. <laughs> big news for David. This should be like 96 or something. No, 95, 96. I'm not okay. entirely sure. But I blocked out a whole area here for, for getting a PlayStation for my birthday. <laughs> I am getting a PlayStation. Whoopee, whoopee. Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider in a different pen? Or is that... No, that's the same pen you just written over it again and again. It is, yeah. And then I think on the next one, it's just I've just blocked out like all the time that I was playing Tomb Raider as well. Okay. Uh, let's skip to that. Look at this. Yeah, so that says 96. <laughs> December 96. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I was playing <laughs> Tomb Raider. <laughs> yeah, so this is my this is my school diary, but apparently I was just using it to to mark when I was playing Tomb Raider for a little while. So this was after school, was it? Was this like run home from school at three o'clock straight onto I the guess, PlayStation? I guess so. I genuinely don't remember any of this. I looked through this whole thing. I was just like, I cannot remember being this person. <laughs> so good, it's so good. Uh, what have we got next? Okay, <laughs> look at this. I like Tuesday. <laughs> bringing all projects finished and sheet don't forget the sheet and then french learn words i did not know it's very vague isn't it very vague note taking there it learn words very... i did not know I, this... I just like the little lady in here this is february 97 and that is two days before my birthday that's two days <laughs> before my 14th birthday i want to see what oh so that was the monday so but the wednesday was my birthday and we don't know what you were doing i was probably playing tomb raider by the <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is very true uh have we got another one i think we've got a couple more yeah what is this i don't know i was going <laughs> through it and i was like why have i written wumper i've just written wumper twice so. yeah you have it's mad um i'm just ch quickly checking something because what i don't want to do i want to see what other pictures i've got from you before okay cool i just don't want to go on to the next person yet but there's quite a few doodles coming up I think. there are it's, it's mostly doodles wumper look at this I mean, we started, we've got Leonardo right here. And that is, <laughs> that is incredibly similar. I mean, look at that. Look at the, the recreation you've got there. Yeah. That's One perfect. perfect. Wasp saying you've got a new catchphrase. I have. <laughs> uh, Guzbo, can you send in a late entry? You can. Send me it on Discord, but I won't take loads because I've got quite a few to get through. Uh, also, I've just noticed that I've, the comic effect, I've clearly written it all of those things incorrectly so, <laughs> yeah. geography maths english is all right and graphics is all right but you didn't I don't know why i've done that you didn't do anything for those paper one no. r8 paper two r115 don't know what any of that means no no clue not a clue okay uh i think we've got hold on we have got more doodles and stuff Oh, this this was interesting. I remember you saying you were particularly <laughs> proud about this. Can you perform this? Is this a song? <laughs> I can read it if you want. So I, I had to guess what some of it said, but this is right at the back of the diary I found it. It says, gonads roasting on an open fire, squirrels nibbling at my knob. I'm going to assume that says big tits with the nipples all the glow. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Uh, you need to bring out your own line of Christmas cards, I think. <laughs> Let's just say like, Wampa. I think that's Tottenham. Oh yeah. The, the oh Tottenham no. Match, White Lilies. I've never, I've never supported Tottenham. 
That's funny. I've never really been into football, so I don't know why I'd run that. I've got something coming up with a football team on that I have no, I do not support and I have no idea why it's on there. So that's obviously a theme. It is. It must be. It's very strange. Was that like a, some of the other guys or whoever like football, so I'm going to draw this in there to fit in type thing? Maybe. Because cool. I was definitely I was definitely not a football person. Yeah. My dad was so okay. a big Liverpool support, so I don't know where that would have come from. I must have been trying to fit in. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, I thought that was great. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> the people say that all over the internet now, but I was doing that back in '97. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. You <laughs> thought that was great, and then you've sent the picture to me, so you still think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's great. Yeah, because it's just at the back. I've just written it. It's not like uh, on anything specific. I no. just thought that's that's a funny thing to say. Tuesday. Uh, it is. I'm just it is. It down. It's a funny thing to read at an angle as well. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Well, I guess Don't I can know. guess some some good shit. I think it's uh that was in a that was in the back of my math one of my maths books. Yeah, I was going to say I recognised the grid like those kind of textbooks or exercise books were the best for for mm. drawing anything. That is a stunning creature. It's got a little pigtail as well. Like mm. Oh yeah, nice. It's like a lion's feet, a snake's head, a horse's mane, and a pig's tail. I guess I was making up new cryptids i like it <laughs> and good coloring as well because you've got a few you've got a couple of different greens there haven't you or have you or is that just where you've gone over and it's gone wet and it's sort of going through i think that might be different okay nice i respect that an artist and talking of an artist i think we've got one final one look at all this stuff i mean if i can zoom in <laughs> on any of this if you'd like me to <laughs> I like the uh, I like oh, enter no, shit, I, honestly. Enter shit is probably the best bit. Enter shit. Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Well I've I've drawn the Starship Enterprise and I've called it the Enter Shit. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> There's also a lot of little farting creatures kicking around on this page and uh, Star Trek drawings for some reason. <laughs> I like lots it. of tri lots of triangle animals for some reason. Yeah. You got a little oh, it looks like a little pizza guy. Hmm. Triangle Island. Some actual maths happening. There is some, yeah. <laughs> uh, we can see your creature on the other on the other side <laughs> very clearly. Oh, yeah. Through. It's, uh, I think that's a little potato man smoking a spliff. Perfect. And that says help spud. That might be an ass above it as well. I didn't notice that before. Oh, yeah. An ass? an ass with a little <laughs> tattoo. Drawing an ass with a tattoo. Good stuff. Very good. Well, there I you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, David. That's some fucking great stuff. You're welcome. Uh, but yeah. So uh, yeah, I was surprised that there wasn't more um, awful stuff in there. I was pretty. It seems like I was a pretty reasonable, reasonable kid. Where was this stuff? Did you uh, did you have this? Did you have to go and find it? Is it you know? Is it, so it when uh, my parents sold their house fairly fairly recently, and they just they, apparently they just keep everything. They've got like all of the toys I've ever owned. They've got all of the school stuff I've ever owned. Oh wow. It's like, it just gave me a big box for it. Wow. Oh, I've just spotted at the top there. It says Spuss. Do you think that was you trying to write Spurs? Trying to get him with Maybe. the football guys. It's going to get him to write Spuss. Just, I don't know where this, this Tottenham thing... I have no memory of it whatsoever. Come on, you Spuss. <laughs> I, just, I just love Spuss. You just love, love Spuss. Brilliant. Big well, uh, that's not nice David there. He loves Spuss. Um, I do. Thank you, David. Thanks for coming on as well and talking about it on uh, on Discord. Uh, no problem on the spas. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have a good night. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, Discord wants to know how the call went. I'd say it went exceptionally well. Right. Right. Let's come back here. I'm really. Am I really blue? I'm just going to turn the blue down a bit, guys. It's important to me that I'm not too blue. When I say turn the blue down, I just turn the light up. Bad for continuity when we do uh, when we do a huge highlights of this. My white balance, yeah, my white balance struggles a little bit. Um, right. I mean, what a fucking great start to the submissions, right? Let's look at what I have got next. Have I still got the camera set up? Little burp, little burp break. Um, let's go back to here. 
Oh no, it's broken. It isn't. Oh, it is. It actually is. Right, let me just fix this quick. I can do this. I can do this. Just need to make sure it's on the right. Let me refresh it. Why isn't that working? All right, one sec, guys. I'm just going to, uh, because I think it's quite good using the camera. So I'm just going to do a new room. Video source, back camera, audio source, no audio. Start, and then let me enter the code into here. Uh, KVA, I can say this out loud, can't I? It's not a door code on Rust. Yay! All right, so here is some, um, I'm sort of missing some of the chat when we when I'm looking at stuff. Fun Lab, I remember people used to write their teams on other people's books at all time. I imagine that is what happened here. Could well be. A lot of Spuss fans around back then. Anyway, talking of football teams that you didn't actually support and you're not really sure why they're on your stuff. I don't know why I have this book with the Blackburn Rovers sticker on it. Fact, let's turn it. So this, guys, is one of your classic exercise books from school. Oh, I wish I had an amazing flip book in there, but I don't. Yeah, Glory Hunter, look, 1996, that's the season that they won the league. Or 95 was when they won, and this was the album after. I don't know, who cares? This is my only ever attempt at... Um, Hello, B, are you a Rovers fan? Is that kind of near where you're from originally? I'm really sorry if that's terribly wrong. You literally just came in. Oh, my God. You missed some good stuff, but welcome. It's nice to have you here. This is my only ever attempt at writing a diary, and I kept it up for three days, maybe four days. Some of this I'm not going to read because it's inappropriate, and I'm ashamed of young me. There are a couple of terms I use which aren't that bad before you fucking start getting ideas. They aren't that bad, but they're kind of bad. Blackburn born. Big year for you then, B. Big year for the community. Um, anyway, let's, let's, cut to the, let's cut to the diary. First off, look at this handwriting. Second off, Funkle Albert, full name, doxed. Let's have a read. I'm going to try and hold this a bit still. I don't know what year this was. I was about, to, I don't know what year this was. I don't need to do that. I'm on camera. Nothing much happened today. This is the 11th of November, by the way. Poignant day. Nothing much happened today. But I had a great time in Spanish and maths. In Spanish, John Hill and I had an ink fight. We got covered. Then Nick Bowden, sorry, Nick Bowden joined in. He splattered ink all over the window. It was so funny. In maths, I was sitting on the same table as Matthew Alt, Jeff Smith, Stephen Haywood and Johnny R. Scott. About 10 minutes into the lesson, Mrs. Jenkins said, can you all be quiet? And I said, yeah, come on then. Stephen and Johnny laughed. Then Johnny said, do you want to start something? I know it wasn't funny, but Johnny, Stephen and I were in hysterics. Later on, I flicked ink at Nick. It went flying and it hit him on the nose. Yet again, I was in hysterics. The highlight of the... <clears throat> the highlight of the day was the two minute silence at 11 o'clock in science. The class was so well behaved and I did remember them. Adam Richardson. Respectful, hey? <laughs> just how as respectful as we were at eight o'clock tonight during the two minute silence <laughs> imagine saying yeah come on then to your teacher and then son one of your mates saying do you want to start something fuck but then also being respectful during a two minute silence for for those we lost for the fallen soldiers Oh, my God. I don't know if uh, there's anything else that's as good as that. 
<laughs> Absolute dork. Oh, God. Yeah, look at all that ink. That is so true. I don't know what that drawing is. Right. I'm going to read a bit more of this because... Well, basically, I fat shame someone. And then... I call the teacher and a bad name. And I probably shouldn't read it out. It's not that bad though. <laughs> anyway, I'll read a bit. So this was the next day, guys. This was the next day. Lama's right, don't say it. It's not like it isn't a horrible slur. I reckon, anyway, it doesn't matter. Stop digging a fucking hole and just read what it says. Tuesday, the 12th of November. So this is the day after, guys. Today was a miserable day. The weather was dull and so were my lessons. Apart from games and maths. In games, we did rugby. I scored a try and it was really good. We got really muddy and cold, but it was still fun. Afterwards, the showers were very welcoming. Oh my God. I just had a little what am I doing moment. What am I doing? At lunch, we had a boring game of football. I scored a couple of goals. Maths was the last lesson. Stephen H was flicking ink at Nick. This is a this is a fucking theme. Daniel Warman, thank you so much for the follow. Um, did it? Did you lot flick ink? Was this a thing at your school? I only got two after school detentions, and I think both of them were for flicking ink because we had fountain pens, and you fucking flick ink on people's shirts, and they have no fucking clue. It's the best. Slinky. I'm not going to be cancelled because I'm not going to read the word out. I, I will send a picture to Llama afterwards and Llama on the next stream can say it wasn't that bad, guys. Or we'll never hear from Llama again. Uh, or me again. Um, anyway, Stephen H was flicking ink, ink at Nick. Nick was flicking back. Johnny was pea shooting at me. Uh, Johnny was pea shooting at me. I've lost my line now. Where am I? I was flicking and pea shooting at him. Near the end of the lesson, David, fat boy weeks. I've said it. I think that's, I think that's okay to say because that is not a horrible slur. But I will admit that I was basically fat shaming this guy. He was one of the bigger kids. That's bad that I've written that. I acknowledge that now. What a prick. Um told the teacher that there was ink on his back. We all said that it was there before. The teacher, Mrs. Jenkins, believed us. Then Johnny put ink on Stephen's chair, so Stephen was standing up. The teacher asked why, and Johnny said that someone had put ink on the Stephen's chair. Mrs. Jenkins made them stay behind after, and I explained, uh, and explain. I ran away. The highlight of my day was telling Stuart Wheeler to piss off. Boy, did that feel good. Oh my God, I'd forgotten that feeling. Stuart fucking Wheeler. He was a dick and I told him to piss off on Tuesday the 12th of, of November. Anyway, Wednesday the 13th of November, reading Romeo and Juliet. It was good until 9.50 when I had to go and have my BCG skin test. I reckon we can go back to the camera, by the way. Antler Beast, thank you so much for subscribing. You're a hero. Again, shout out. You don't have to do a physical shout out, guys, but I'm going to give an extra shout out to Antler Beast to his fucking... Uh, doing good things on in Rust and it's got a high quality stream. Right. Don't worry. I've only got Wednesday the 13th of November and Thursday the 14th of November. I'm not just reading you my whole fucking diary. But this is the only time I ever tried to do a diary. Oh. Oh. Ugh. That looked horrible. There we go. Wednesday, 13th of November. My first lesson of the day was English. It was good fun as we were reading Romeo and Juliet. It was good fun until 9.50 precisely, when I had to go and have my BCG skin test. I went to the assembly hall and gave the nurse my slip. Then she put this huge needle above my arm. I thought it was only the skin test, but it seemed to be the vaccination. But luckily, spelling correctly, it is, was, fucking hell. 
I was shook up, guy. I probably wrote this with like a sore arm. But luckily, is was only a special liquid to help stop the pain. Thank you, nurse. Thank you for the special liquid. She then got this tube. I, I don't know if I want to carry on. And put it to my skin. And she said, this may make you jump. And she pressed it down. It felt like a flick on my arm. It didn't hurt. I have to go back, back next week to have the vac ver, vaccination. Why have I written that? Is that supposed to be like a lyric or something? Is that supposed to be like a vac ver, vaccination? In Spanish, our teacher told us that <gasps> there was ink on the window. Last lesson. More ink. Then she saw Nick's book and mine. They had ink on them. She said that as they were textbooks, we would have to pay eight pounds if we didn't sort, sort them out. Ouch. It's like the fucking Diary of Adrian Mole, isn't it? This is, I, I should actually get this published. The highlight of the day was thinking that the skin test would be hell, but realising that it didn't hurt at all. What a highlight. What a highlight of a day for a teenage boy. Uh, and then I've signed it with what I thought was a really cool signature where I linked uh, the A and the R together. Thanks very much, Lama. Okay, last bit, not very long. Uh, Thursday 14th of November I'm just going to finish this I don't think this is that exciting today was quite boring the only funny thing was in English we were doing Romeo and Juliet I was Romeo and wait for it Doug was Juliet I was wrong this is quality guys I was Romeo and Doug Doug was Juliet Everything else was boring. I scored a couple of goals. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. I scored a couple of goals in football at lunch. Uh, nothing else to report. What's going on with my F? I started doing Fs like that. Nothing else to report. The highlight of the day was playing Mario Kart after school. How boring was my day? It was about this big. That doesn't make sense, A. Bitchardson. How boring was my day? It was about this big. Blackburn Rovers forever. I've just realised we've we've got some fucking great stuff left to come, guys. Not nice, David. I did leave out the six full pages of my parents' signatures that I was using to fake a sick letter so I could wear trainers. <laughs> nice. Yes, I faked my dad's when I got that um, when I got that after school detention for flicking ink. I faked my dad's signature, and I did tell him this about five or ten years ago. So it's all fine. This boring. <laughs> hey Bitchardson right uh, who are we going to talk to next so exciting times ahead we're definitely going to speak to Wasps Kill Bears in a, in a bit Wasps I hope you've got a little bit of time because I, I kind of want to leave you uh, after a couple more of the others I've just got some stuff that's come through from Guzbo oh it's fucking good stuff I think what I'm going to do is show this I'll just link to I'll open up Discord uh, on stream rather than trying to save all the images elsewhere. Uh, so let's go over here. Let's go over here. Who are we going to speak about? Fluffy Pink Blonde. Fluffy, in the chat. Do you want to get in, do you want to come on and explain any of this or shall I just talk talk people through it, uh, through your notes and we'll look at your images. What do you want to do? What do you want to do, Fluffy Pink Blonde? Pink Blonde. If I was pro, I'd fill, but I'm just going to sit here and wait. Already in. Where's my Discord? Fluffy, so sorry. Wait, let me join. All right. Yes. It's, it's you. It's actually me. I'm excited. I'm scared. Okay, well, I'll help you through it. We're going to be fine. It's going to be great. Um, a couple of your images I don't have one of them I took out and then one of them or maybe two of them I don't have but we do have some we, we've got the majority of them let me just bring them up hold on hold on uh, let me change the scene alright so I'm starting with this one 
fluffy if that's all right which you're gonna see <laughs> um yeah i think this was on um either on the film or on a production of hedwig and the angry inch and it was a like a quote or a re- review or whatever okay I, and i related to it very much nice so you so, so when was this so uh, i guess that when did that come out that probably came out fucking ages ago i was going to say quite oh, recently oh yonks ago yeah. i've got no idea yeah hedwig's like a long time ago okay uh i'm just going to turn discord down a little bit because llama suggested i do okay this next one i really like because this is the kind of shit i always wanted to do and start doing and then would fail to I've finish. Got so many of these these are great so many yeah so um, they're very uh very therapeutic i was gonna say was this therapeutic i can't stop staring at it i love a rainbow yeah do you i mean you could you could cut these out and frame them. I, I mean, I'm good. Okay, fine. Okay, let's move <laughs> on to the next stuff, the next bits, the other pictures. All right, so this is like a run of pictures now, these ones. So you're going to have to explain the context. I kind of got it from your notes, but I am pleased that you're here to, to explain it. <laughs> yeah, so I used to do um, events and festivals and things. I used to wear these costumes. And so for every event, there was a different, obviously like a different brief and a different outfit to create. And so I would always just hammer out these little sketches so I knew basically that every bit of the outfit was accounted for, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, this, this and that, and oh, I need gloves. Oh, there isn't anything on my head yet. Vibes. I like it. So what's going on in your and shoulders you know, just there? just so many of them in, like, varying states. of like, some of them are really annotated. Some of them are just, like, a scrawl. Shall I move on? Shall I show you another Please one? Do. Yeah, there's a like a little handful of them, I think. Look at this, all your little notes as well. But yeah, like so, every item of clothing has a name. Mm. So there'll be like, a names of things that I know exactly what item that is. Pixie Basically is got some descriptive name. That makes sense. I mean, Pixie is a fairly explanatory. Yellow fill. I did find a note in one of my notebooks that just said hairbells. Hairbells. Exclamation mark. Which I <laughs> yeah. Hairbells pink and orange pockets okay that makes sense i want to find something really yeah, I weird know exactly where, what they are yeah pink lace leggings clear leggings fishnet leg warmers pink socks pink boots that's a lot of leg and foot gear yeah sometimes it'll be like you know christmas outside for six hours so and what were you doing um just walk about work it would be okay. all different things so sometimes promotional sometimes i'd be getting signatures sometimes i would just be there to be nice okay fine that makes sense. Like in the chat. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> next. Look at this one. I like the shoes here. Light up. Oh, yeah. Um, my my pastel coloured light up high tops. They're like one of my most, <laughs> most treasured belongings. Very cool. But one of them doesn't light up anymore, which is disappointing. That is a shame. Yellow 80s sport jacket. Oh, sports jacket. That sounds great. Oh, original, original 80s. I've got, um, yeah, I got a handful of original 80s clothes as payment one time. What? So that was great. Lama says, oh my God, picks needed. We do. We kind of need picks. I want to see what these outfits ended up looking like. that's the point like. is like, I have these drawings. I don't yeah. really have pictures. I would. I don't take pictures and people take pictures of me, but then they're off around the corners of the world. I have no idea. So have yeah. very few pictures i do still have the shoes llama and there i, I mean the fluffy pink, pink blonde that i mean this yeah this is clearly you we can yeah it's all you. very there's a lot of fluffy pink blondness going on yeah i used to have a lot more hair than i have now bollocking password says band stylist right here are you are you up for that can you sketch us all I'm bang up for that if you're aware what i put you in all, yeah, t- all sure. 12 members of us <laughs> when you go on tour <laughs> uh and then this is the last picture I've got is the uh which is sort of the fo- like a photo is this a photo of one of the outfits laid out oh yeah so yeah I used to, do you remember those little um bluetooth printers that you could get and make little stickers yeah so this is one of the very few photo evidence and it's not on me it's just the outfit laid out before I'm gonna put it on uh, okay yeah so there'd be like sense. layers of like checking in with people is this okay are you happy with this now yeah that is amazing. So you have you have you just got a wardrobe full of all this kind of stuff that you occasionally still bring out? 
Oh, I'm kind of having a massive clear out. My most beautiful and expensive wings got stolen. <gasps> Someone stole um, your wings. Someone stole my wings. Where from? Your house? It was not a secured location, to be okay. fair. All right. But still, you don't steal a fairy's wings. No, no, that's outrageous. Um, but yeah, um, I've still got a lot of it. I've still got a lot of it. Nice. And well, I still it... know the person who makes the wings, so there's hope. Okay, so you could still you could still get your wings back. Well, not your back. Some replacement wings won't be quite the same, will it? But they'll be new. So, um, exactly. and then yeah, the other there were a couple of other pictures of other notebooks that you had, which I don't have to hand. Although I could probably show them when I get this Discord up again. But I just liked all your little doodles. I think okay. they're great. Bad. Thanks. No worries. They were cute. Well, it was nice to talk to you. So and nice to talk to you. I'll see you again in a minute in the chat, no doubt. Bye. Bye. Mm. Hang up. I want to hang up so my name isn't on the screen anymore. There we go. Look at that. Yes, Fluffy. Um, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back here. Nice stuff. I love, like, people who can just, I imagine a lot of those doodles were done really quickly as well. Whenever you, what did we used to watch? Hannah and I, wife, wife, wife and I used to watch Project Runway. Did anyone watch Project Runway? Fucking great show. Was it Project Runway? The one with, was that Heidi Klum? Klum? Anyway, it's fucking great. And they get loads of fashion designers. Uh, and when people can just fucking draw stuff really quick, like little outfits. I love that. I love that kind of stuff. Things I've learned. Fluffy is even more fabulous than I thought. Ad is even more of a nerd than I thought. Thanks, BP. Appreciate it. <laughs> Llama, I'm upset that some people sending cool stuff and I sending what I did. Llama's stuff is great. All of your stuff is great. It shares your stuff. No stuff shade. Apart from when we eventually get around to doing shares your stuff lampshades, which I reckon will probably be within the next three to four months. Let's do something else from me. Can we go back to this camera? Uh, we can. Leonardo, you up for this? Pop your head if you're up for it. Fuck yes, I wasn't sure. All right. We've moved on to college now, guys. School's done. School's fucking done. I'm done with flicking ink. I've left school now. I don't use a fucking... Uh, Mount, uh, mountain pen fountain pen I'm using a quill now no of course I'm not I'm just using biros big biros okay I'm relatable anyway this is my little book of stuff that I had at college and this is about to get deep and and potentially embarrassing so uh, please stick around it's going to be really lovely great so obviously I put Radiohead on the front. I say, obviously, I've got At The Driving on the back. Two of my favourite bands. I've just written Blood, Sex, Sugar, Magic there. Uh, this is mostly, so this has mostly got actual work in. So they're like final coursework, essays, stuff I actually had to do, list of stuff I had to do. Uh, that drawing was by uh, the girl in the band, by the way, guys. That drawing was by the girl. Uh, so this actually means a huge amount to me. Uh, and but also I want to rip it to fucking shreds. Uh, I've written Kenny Rogers on a page. But most of it is actual work. I don't really know what this means. I don't know who this is. Why didn't we put out the drive-in on the list, Funkle Albert? I don't know who this is. That's not the girl. Uh, here's some stuff I did in graphics. Here's some English stuff. This is all pretty boring. Uh, this is another fucking sheet of drawings that the girl did. Uh, anyway. This is all boring. But what I like is this first page. This all worked before. Uh, it's all work before this. But this first page actually reveals a lot. Guys, to do. Hold on, let me change this. To do. Downloads. Papa Roach? Thanks, Llama. I got there. 
uh, downloads. Papa Roach? Question mark. Uh, here we go, guys. Oh, fuck's sake. I actually... Uh, I don't actually want to show that particular lyric because it's fucking embarrassing. If you guys end up uh, find reading it, then you can, but it's embarrassing as fuck. There's embarrassing stuff going to happen today, but anyway... For some reason, I've written, heard it on The Grapevine, Gangster's Paradise, Firestarter, Nothing Compares to You. Probably just songs I want to download. Probably just some songs I just wanted to download, right, guys? Heard it on The Grapevine, Gangster's Paradise, uh, Firestarter, and Nothing Compares to You. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, this is what I wrote. But her name's there, but we knew it was Laura. So this is something I wanted to do. Write a song that describes feelings for Laura. I know I will have you, but I don't know when. Scared to keep your picture in my wallet. The reason that's embarrassing for me is because it makes me remember how I felt. I know I will have you, but I don't know when. I didn't. I didn't in the end, but that's fine. Uh, see, I'm embarrassed now. Buy albums, guys. Buy albums. Papa Roach, Deftones Around the Fur, Placebo. Ah, uh, what was that BMM? What was that album called? Something Market Music. Was it Black Market Music? Or am I just thinking of someone else? Uh... Buy Stand By Me, the movie. These are things you've got to do when you're at college. Um, the Shoe People and Pigeon Street. Don't know why I've written those things. Um, and also, right, here's a little list of songs and emotions that they convey. Okay, guys? Energy. Firestarter. Emotion. Nothing compares to you. Trance. Gangster's Paradise. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, write a beautiful song. That's something I need to do. Write a beautiful song. And then I've written Danny Glover, Morgan Friesman, Bill Cosby, Gene Hackman. Don't know why I've written that. Uh, don't know what any of that is. Anyway, I think this is the key thing to remember, guys. If you take anything around, uh, take anything away from here. Uh it's energy fire starter emotion nothing compares to you but most importantly trance gangster's paradise and that is that book i will have you laura god i don't know what drums and flats means domella you are so complex ad thank you uh Thank you, John, John Atfield. I'm going to take that as a massive compliment. Cool book. We've still got all this good shit to come from those notebooks. Honestly. Honestly. I don't know why I wrote trance. Maybe maybe when I was singing that, when I was rapping, when I was doing Coolio's raps at the back of the bus, I'd go into a trance. I think that's what it is. All right. Let's speak to somebody else, shall we? Or a look at somebody else's stuff. So what have we done? We've spoken to Not Nice David. We've spoken to Fluffy Pink Blonde. Delete them from my fucking Google Doc. We've got three more. Actually, four more with with uh, with Gusbo. I fucking deleted you, Fluffy Pink Blonde. You're out. You're out of here. You're out of my doc. Um, do you know what? I'm going to sh play you a little video while I save. Um, I can't talk in proper sentences whilst doing another thing. So it's for the best if I do a video and then everything will be cool. You might have missed it at the start of the stream. I think you're all brilliant and I made you a song. I can't believe that we're all here together at the same time. You're in my chat, so we are best friends now. I think that's how it works. Are you my best friends or what? I provide stuff for you to watch and you provide me with feel the love is that love i think it's love is it hate i don't care because you're my best mate you are my best mates now please never 
There you go, guys. You I uh, hope you appreciate that. That uh, that's just like I said, my heart in a video. Um, while I'm saving some more of these, then you get what you want, Llama. You get what you fucking want. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Fruit salad. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Fruit salad. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Wow. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Oh, it's good. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Don't turn off. Don't switch off. I haven't finished my admin, so I'm going to have to play the Prime song. I'm really sorry about this. It's like a commercial break. Open up gaming.amazon.com. Sign into your account or go set up a new one. Choose a payment method, complete the transaction. You're on your way to giving me that Prime Stop satisfaction. Now open up your Twitch account on the Amazon site Enter in your details, be sure to get them right I'll be succinct, your account's now linked so we're nearly done You've done the prep, now one more step while wow, admin is fun Alright stop, this next bit is key and you've got to get it right if you're subbing to me Go to twitch.tv forward slash add 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 to send me cash Click subscribe then free subscription with Prime Oh fuck, you've done it, you are the best, your taste of streamers is sublime. One more thing, do not forget that in just one month's time, your sub will expire unless you renew again with Prime. Your resub would be awesome, if you do it I'll be glad. Make your own decisions though, cause I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad, but I have finished my ad. Min. That was a clever, clever bit of wordplay. Um, Guzbo, should we look at Guzbo stuff? Because I've just sorted out Guzbo stuff, so I feel like we're going to have a quick look at it. I don't know if you're still in Guzbo. We can happily uh, have a little chat about this if you want, but if not, I'm just going to read what you said in your messages, which was, this was my notebook from my last job, definitely working hard. I tried to do a doodle a day in my downtime. A downtime day doodle. A downtime day doodle. Guzbo might be modding elsewhere. That is cool and fine. Uh, so let me work out how to open. It's going to be good stuff again. So here's some Guzbo doodles. Uh, what I'm going to do is just open them one by one. Basically, I don't have time to set things up. This is why I don't uh, usually appreciate. Sorry, let me change my tone. This um this is why I'm a bit like uh I don't know about receiving stuff during the stream because oh it's you know it's not great I mean uh, time changed don't shout at us I'm not shouting Guzbo Look at these doodles from Guzbo. Anybody who's been in Guzbo's challenge, let's challenge channel. Let's have another shout out for Guzbo, please. Because if you haven't been watching Guzbo, then you will not have noticed that when you go into his channel and you watch his lovely videos, uh, yeah, videos, content, streams, streams. He has a little um, doodle around his camera. And I didn't realize he did his own doodles. You are right, Blade Town. I didn't realize he did his own fucking cool little doodles. And here are some of them. Find yourself. You are here. That is nice. I only just spotted the little person there. Uh, let's open this. Fucking hell. You know what makes this even cooler? He can't picture things in his head. 
I've heard about people like this. Like when you say, think of an apple and they don't picture an apple in their head. That's, that's mad. Oh, well, I mean, Domela, he probably does consider this uh, artwork and I've just called it doodling. So um, hugely disrespectful to, a, to an artist. I really love the little dots of color. Keep moving forward. Look at all those little dots. I'm just into dots, to be honest with you. This one is a bit more abstract. There could be words or, or letters uh, hidden in there. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, that's the same. Is that the same one? That's the same one. I saved it twice because I was trying to do admin whilst playing uh, little videos. Just leave it all right. Look at this. It's a worm, guys. I live underground. I eat mud to survive. But by doing this, I help plants grow. I am important. I like that. I really like the worm's face. Look at him. Look at them. Look at that little mouth. Little turned up corner at the end. I really like that, Gusbo. The world is better because you were in it. Gusbo, are you melting our hearts, Gusbo? I feel like you're melting our hearts, which is unfair because I'm streaming. And if my heart melts, I'll just die. I'll be dead. And then we'll have to take down the VOD, which would be gutting. That is really fucking nice, isn't it? I really, really like that. Final one. Is that a brain? I think it's a brain. And there's stuff happening in a brain. We've got science. We've got love. We've got the city streets. Uh, we've got a skull. We've got music. We've got an exclamation mark. We've got money. Uh, we've got a Z symbol. Should I know what that is? I don't know what that is. We've got... Is this... There's probably all sorts of other little bits and bobs in here that are hidden that I don't quite get. But that's the complexity of brains, guys. I don't get everything that's in a brain. None of us do. And that's what Gusbo's... Uh, Gusbo! I've just done your last picture. It's your brain. Sorry if I got really loud then. I was excited that you're back, Gusbo. Literally on the last one, Gusbo. And everybody's been fucking loving it. Uh, let's have a quick run back through. So just in case, Gusbo, you have anything to... Uh, any little insight you want to add to this. Have I... Oh, no. There were more than this. Were there more than this? No, there weren't. We all got excited. Find yourself. We were big fans of this. The little you are here. We spotted at the end there. I was really into this one. Uh, all the little dots with the different colours. That shows to me that not only are you creative, but you've got a fucking fantastic selection of stationery. And that excites me. Um, this one... You've got about 30 pages, but it's mostly abstract. Right, we saw a little insight into some of the abstract stuff. So this is you thinking with your lots of abstract stuff going on in your brain. And then I had that one again because I was doing admin. This we liked a lot. This could easily be a little, um, a little print, couldn't it? A little print or a postcard or something. Love the worm, love his little corner, the way it turns up at the end there. Did you draw it, draw this during the time when Llama used to con consistently make you eat the worm in, in Rust? And it made you think of this. Because that would be nice. This one, you melted our hearts, and I got a bit annoyed because I'm streaming, and part of my heart melted, and, uh, and I was worried I was going to keel over on stream. So, uh, But we all really love this. It's really fucking nice. And then that's your brain. This was about five years ago, though I do keep new diaries of doodles. Diaries of doodles. Oh my God. 
I'm really fucking nice. Oh, Llama, you got me. Right. Yes, I love... BP, can I just have a shout? I mean, not in a Twitch way, but a shout out to Bollocking Passwords, who is always thinking about the fucking album. Always thinking about the Watershed album that we're making as a collective. A lot of people are getting involved and it's all lovely and warm and fuzzy. BP is basically like project manager, producer, constantly thinking how little things that we're looking at and all doing, how they could be involved. Oh, you don't need to help it, Bollocking Passwords. I love the idea of Gusway doing some art, uh, artwork for the inserts. Um, and I love that you're getting involved. Producer, BP, producer credit. Produced by bollocking passwords. That's like being produced by Dead Mouse. I think that would get the same reaction by an elderly person. If you were like, this is produced by Dead Mouse and this is produced by bollocking passwords, they'd be equally as confused. And that's what we want. We want to be provocative to, to the elderly. Thank you, Guzbo, for your um, submissions. That was really great. And also, me having to do that admin meant I got to play all my little videos. All my little videos. Okay. Uh, I'll show you something now. I wouldn't buy that album for my son if I saw those swears on it. <gasps> it's, not, it's not for your son, though. Okay. So, we've got some other stuff here. Uh, okay. I'm going to... <sighs> how much I saw this earlier and I was like this is all great but it's kind of sad it's kind of but I'm fine okay I think what I think what we can all agree on is I'm fucking fine there's nothing going on with me let's look at this reaction from an elderly person that Lama sent <laughs> um, I'm fucking fine fluffy pink blonde I, I'm now hearing, I'm hearing what you're saying in my, uh, in your voice. So that's nice, Fluffy. It was really nice to talk to you. Um, let's look at some stuff, some inspiration for some lyrics that I tried to write when I was 17, 18, which could lead to lyrics that will appear on this album. Uh, and let's do that with this super cool camera on my phone. Is it working? All right, so this is just stuff I wrote in that notebook. So this notebook over here that we looked at earlier. This is how I was feeling when all the shit was going down, when I thought I loved someone and I didn't. It was just teenage emotions. <laughs> Peel away the others. Yeah, yeah, Fluffy, it's about the girl. How did I fall back into a filled hole? Is that TOS? Or is that just a good, good potential lyric? I can't remember how I coped before. Hypnotic eyes. Punching walls disguises real pain. Nobody really knows how bad things really are. Honestly, honestly now, things weren't actually that bad at all. I still went home every day from college and felt fine and could interact with my parents and have like everything was, everything was fine. Tonight I'll stay in and cry. I promise you chat, I didn't do that. Maybe a couple of times because I was overtired or something like that, okay? Best friends don't do things like that. Okay, well, this was to do with my friend who's the other member of the band who we haven't named yet because he ended up going out with the girl when I wanted to go out with the girl and he was supposed to be my fucking best friend. I want her to myself. Ah, oh, this is fuck. I'm, I feel really weird inside. Scared to carry your picture, scared to say your name. Guys, have you ever felt like that about someone? <laughs> for the album how do i get involved i can't do much but i can help in production and post-production if needed josh jump in the um jump in the discord i don't i mean if you want to get involved in all this all this is that that's happening i'm fine and now i'm going to stop saying i'm fine because yeah 
Does beauty spawn from obsession? Fuck. Have you ever thought about that? Nope. Okay, thank you. Gusbo, I remember writing a poem when I broke up with someone in school. It was about your left arm deciding one day to just walk away from you. <laughs> spawn. You're right. That's interesting spelling. Is that like frog spawn? Spawn. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, just for the record, fuck off. Okay? Um, were things different last time around? Don't know what that was about. Why do I think I will be any better? He was nothing. That is a lie. I don't really get that. Spawn <laughs> supporting us on our first tour. <laughs> Should have stuck to the ink flicking. Seriously though, you okay, hun? No, I'm not. I'm fucking not. I am. <sighs> right, we've got more. I think we'll do one more piece of paper and then we'll go to somebody else and we'll do something else that's a bit more, like, not mad. Some of this I'm going to keep. Uh, and we're going to do it for... We Actually, no, we're going to turn this all into lyrics. We're going to monetize all of this. This is actual lyrics I wrote now, okay, guys? Same sort of theme. It seems that you don't understand that my heart is on reprimand. I can't love as much as I would like to. But you aren't helping me at all. You're driving me up the wall. My world doesn't revolve around you. This wasn't about the girl. This was about some fictional person. You see, this is it, me and you. What am I supposed to do? It's impossible. It's impossible. You may want just one last chance, but we know it takes two to dance. Two, two, two. Impossible. Uh, and just for the record, because if you're wondering, if you're wondering like, oh, is this like an upbeat number? Is this, guys, quite slow, this one. Quite slow. Um, now we have to work something out. I can't survive another bout. Give it up or we won't last one week. You know you're not looking your best. Our sex life has lost all its zest. The life of drugs won't help find what you seek. You see, this is it. You may just want one more chance. So we that's, we go into the chorus again. Yeah. And then we have an instrumental. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, the life of drugs won't, won't help find what you seek. I probably just heard... Uh, the drugs won't work. Oh, <laughs> quite slow, quite slow. When you're singing that to yourself later on, uh, quite slow in your head. Wow, this imaginary relationship was intense. Mary Biscuits, it really was, okay? Speaking of Mary Biscuits, Let's do something to lighten the mood a little bit and let's look at some of lovely Mary Biscuit's lovely um, drawings and doodles and notebooks. Uh, we're trying to work out where to put this. Definitely not in the bin. We're going to monetize it like Gusbo said. Definitely going to happen, right? Uh, which ones have I looked at? Sorry. Oh God, there's still quite a lot left. There's one that is fucking mad. Thank you, Blake Town. It really is a struggle. Catnip, how you doing? Catnip, you've come in at a fucking great time. I'm just uh, revealing low, far too much about my teenage self. Uh, but I'm fine now. Mary Biscuits. Shall I just go through your stuff? Would you like to get on the Discord to chat about it? Uh, all options are open. I got better. Can't be asked. No worries. That is fine. Let's have a little look. Let's go over here. Let's go here. Let's go to Mary Biscuits. Llama content. There's llama content coming up. Catnip, I'm amazing. I'm thesis free. Party time. Congratulations to Catnip, everybody who's completed their thesis. What is it in again? Is it something to do with zoology? That is great. Party time. You're in the right place. We're doing sure shit fucking stuff. And Big Taffman, do you actually have stuff to show? Because send it to me on Discord if you do. And uh, 
we'll find some other stuff. Blocking passwords do add your brilliant do this another time too we're going to do show show stuff on the regs i'm going to run out of content though i'm going to run out of stuff for me to show i think mario biscuits don't worry guys there's an explainer for this and there's and it and there's more variety a bit in a bit <laughs> it's not all just mario biscuits coursework um so i've got some notes Mary Biscuit said that uh, they rifled through drawers and found a random selection of stuff. Nothing too thrilling or salacious, sadly, but feel free to use. Uh, most of my notes are pretty boring at the moment because of OU. Open University? Is that Open University? And look like this. Penguin's behaviour and enclosure took me 300 hours. Sorry, catnip. Mad. Congratulations again. So this is Open University stuff. Now, can anyone work out these formulas? This is stuff that Mary Biscuit is doing. And all power to you for doing this course. What, I mean, what is it? A little bit of maths. Okay. Thanks. I needed I needed to check exactly what it was. Um, look at this, though. This is from we were asked to include a simple sketch of our experiment set up, and I took it too far. I fucking love this. I really, really like those glasses of water. And the fact that you can see the horizon line through the glasses of water. It's beautiful. I really like your writing. And I love the cracked eggs, the discarded eggshell. And I think your colouring in, in your colouring in is fantastic. You haven't gone over the lines. Well done. Do you have kitchen roll that's skin shaded? White person skin shade. Let's move on. Right, next up. Bird book, guys, bird book. This is a bird, sorry, this is a book where I recorded the birds visiting our feeder for bird counts and to figure out what food to get. Llama's gonna be fucking into this. Oh God. Oh God. Um, so this is a bird book where I recorded the birds visiting our feeder for bird counts and to figure out what food to get. Uh, sorry. Look at this. Who wouldn't be? Uh, uh, no, you're right. Everyone. Okay. Look at this bird spotting. So hold on a minute. You get a fuckload of birds. Two o'clock. Bee bird. Is that a big bird from Sesame Street? 640. A wooden pigeon. Are you serious? A uh, wood pigeon. 3.30, this is the next day now. Two birds a day. We're averaging two birds a day, I'd say. Although, look at what happened on the 10th. Uh, we've got a boo bird, bee bird. Oh, look at this little routine. Bee bird knows to come first. Wood pigeon comes and, and grabs everything else. Bee bird is fat. Wood pigeon finishes all of it. Tits. Marry biscuits. <laughs> um, that's true, actually. Please ignore this little this thing over here where Marry biscuits has just written tits. On the 10th, at 1.25, we had Bee Bird, uh, who was also checking their Facebook. Uh, 10 past six, Bee Birds came along also on Facebook. Sparrows ate some nuts. Chaffinch had the seeds and berries. Did, were these all... Uh, no, we don't need to go deep into those questions. Let's actually just move on to the next one. Right, look at this. These are little sketches that Mary Biscuits made for their partner, Adam, to bribe him into feeding the birds. Look at this pigeon up here. Help me, crossed out. You help me. Happy birthday, bird feeder of the year. Love the colouring in once again. And next up comes a totally accurate drawing of Adam. Uh, I've never met Adam. I think I've seen a couple of pictures on social media. Can confirm uh, that Adam looks like a slug man. Love the noodles t-shirt. He's in his dressing gown as well by the looks of things. <laughs> oh my god show us your stuff is the best thing ever oh wow sorry that was hugely egotistical of me to say that <laughs> but what i mean is i really enjoy it i really fucking enjoy it okay next look at these some random cat and sea creature sketches from a sketchbook right um mary biscuits 
I think these are fucking great. This picture here, uh, hold on, where's my OBS? I can't tell if you can see what I'm pointing at. No, you can't. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can, you can. This was your profile picture, wasn't it? At some point? I feel like I've seen this before. Or is it still your profile picture? These are really great illustrations. And do you know what it, like, yeah. Do you do illustrations? Do, have you ever, like, yeah, my profile picture is an older version. Do you do um, commissions? Like, has anybody ever asked you to do something? These are not in my, in a book. I'm gutted knowing I could have submitted some of my art that's not in books. Taff man, come on. These may well have been in a sketchbook. I've got content here that's kind of in an old book. Come on, Taff man. That's against the spirit of Shersh's stuff, saying stuff like that. Sledging. I'm only joking, Taff man. Um, yeah, I have posters and book covers and stuff. Yes. Well, my immediate thought was I've written a kid's book, like a, a kid, like a long form kid's poem. And I want, I'd really like somebody to illustrate it. And your illustrations are cool. So can you illustrate my book for free and send me it within a, like a week or so? And then I will monetize that alongside my lyrics and make loads of money for the exposure. You'll get exposure. If anyone, asks, I won't put your name on the book, but if anyone asks, I'll say um, someone from Twitch did it. Canip, don't think that has worked, but enjoy the sub. Thank you for your possible sub. Thank you for the thought. <laughs> uh, if you have just subbed, that's lovely of you, Canip. And congratulations again on th finishing your thesis. It has worked, has it? Hasn't popped up, but I believe you. Thank you. Thank you, Catnip. Um, no, Marrow Biscuits. If it did ever, like, if you were over interested in that kind of thing, then I've got no idea how all that works. Um, maybe one day I'll send you what I've written. And if you don't think it's shit, then we could see. Um, holy fucking shit. Adders and Mercatory. Fantastic. There you go. Thank you, Catnip. I appreciate it. Catnip is an OG who used to come in, found us, found the channel when we used to play The Sims a lot, uh, used to play The Sims as well, started doing a bit of streaming, always coming in and supporting, and then has been really busy doing their thesis. So it's lovely to see you back again. And you subbed as well. Anyway, Mary Biscuits, I love all this. What have we got next? Final thing. These are the sea creatures that were talked about. Random sea creature sketches from a sketchbook. All right, Taff? Look at these. Look at the color as well. Love all their eyes. Look at this turtle. I've got to make a turtle birthday cake. Uh, I'm doing a Matthew McConaughey. I've got to make a turtle birthday cake. It's my daughter's birthday in like 10 days and I always make her cake. I've made some fucking great cakes. Maybe we'll do Shasha cake one day. She wants a turtle cake. I'm tempted to be inspired by this turtle. Um... He has done some great cakes. How do you know? I think I've got a picture of one or two of them on my Instagram. Okay. Okay. Freak me out for a minute then, Lama. I was like, have we talked about cakes? Um, <laughs> how do you know? i got to keep some stuff private. I'm fucking bearing my soul. And it turns out you already knew about my cakes. Blake Town, we'll have a cake off one day. I'd love that. Do you know what my favorite, favorite thing about doing cakes is? Is that at the party, the kids' party, we get there and we, we put the cake out and there are all the other parents and all the fucking mums and dads go up to Hannah, wife, 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 and go, oh my God, I love the cake. And then she goes, oh, Ad made it. And they go, really? Oh, you made the cake? I'm like, yeah, fucking dads can make cakes too. Dad's going to make cakes too, you know. And then I fucking go up and I punch the cake. Oh. Right, let's look at more of my angsty stuff. I'm fine now. I'm not angsty anymore. How long have we even been going? So much talking on Shersh's stuff. Thing. That's the thing. We don't ever have a little break for games. It's just chat, chat, chat. Let's have a drink.
Everyone hydrate. Little break. Josh won't know he's got a little anecdote. I'll read it whilst drinking. Ah, oh, my mum used to ask me to make cake for her work and she used to take it in and everyone loved it. Fast forward 10 years and I work for that company and now they all know it was actually me. I like it. Can it please don't put corn flour as only flour in cake? Okay, I won't. New segment, cake news. Frazwaffle, what's your cake news, please? Best cake you've ever made. And that is a question just for Frazwaffle while I work out what we're going to look at next. We got more lyrics coming up, guys. We got more lyrics. Oh, fireworks in the oven. Right. Um, sorry about that. That's TOS, isn't it? Gluten free sticky toffee. Gluten free cakes are fucking good, aren't they? There are some fucking great ones. I've had a couple of bad ones, but there are some really great ones too. Um, sorry about Leonardo. Anyway, let's go over here. Right back to the lyrics, guys. So if you, if by the way, if you've just joined us, then I'm sort of having a breakdown. Right, this is one of the Watershed songs potentially. All right, playing games is all I do. Never thought to play with you. Things should never change so soon. How can I move on when you won't move over? Okay, I don't know why I'm saying okay. Let's read it again without the okay. We're not doing that in the song. Okay. Playing games is all I do. Never thought to play with you. Things should never change so soon. How can I move on when you won't move over? You won't even say your name. Am I the one to take the blame? I'll never complete this game. How can I, how can I help it when you shout game over? Eat my face. More good lyrics there. Uh, that will definitely make a great song. Okay. Who else have we got left? We've got Llama and we've got Wasps. And have we got anyone else? Please have okay at the end of every verse in the songs. Fuck. Right. Taff, are you actually going to send stuff? Like, don't. Like, it's fine if you don't. Have you emailed it? Let me just check my email. Because we got we got Llama and Wasps to go. And I reckon, hopefully, I'm going to speak to both of them. Just let me check in case Taff's emailed me. Taff's is still uploading. I would not be surprised. Receipt for payment. I, do you... Receipt for payment. Big Taff Man, I've just fucking resubscribed to you. I was going to cancel it. Not really. I said I wasn't. I wouldn't do this to you, Ad. Thank you, Taff. That's fine. That's good. We know where we're at. You're a kind troll. You are. You're the kindest troll I know. You're a, fu you're a fucking brilliant example of a troll, but you're a lovely, lovely man um, in reality. All right. I think we're going to speak to Wasps. Wasps, are you ready? Is that cool? And then we'll speak to Llama. I did sketch out a picture of you, a picture of you but I'll share it privately. Yes, please do, Taff. I'm not sure everybody wants to see that. I can't imagine what you might have drawn. Is Wasps even around? I could see Wasps is there. He said something earlier. Is it going to... You're already in the fucking thing. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not doing very well. Hello. Well ahead of you. You are well ahead of me. Is this the volume you're going to be talking at? Is that that's oh, a good step ahead of you? Good good start to uh, any kind of interview, isn't it? Is this the volume you're going to be talking at? Yes. I just want to turn you up a little bit because you're quite quiet for me. Uh, it might be just because I'm using my laptop microphone. Okay. How is Wasps's volume? Wasps's. Oh. I'd like a 
full evaluation, please. Quiet. Okay, I'll turn up. I'll turn you up here. Thank Maybe you. I can turn myself up a bit too. Thank you so much, anonymous gifter, for gifting a sub to, sub to Fluffy Pink Blonde. Well deserved after today's stream performance. Um, okay, I've turned up noise suppression. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, you're pretty clear to me, and I've turned you up on the stream. So hopefully, do I need to go even louder? Okay, I'm louder. I'm louder. I'm going louder. More beef. Uh, basically, I've, I've, I have to remember to turn this down for Llama. But you are now max volume. 200% volume I've got you on. As I've always meant to be. Right. Wasps, let me just change the scene so I'm in the right place. I need to get something better than having a just a Google Drive. But anyway, Wasps, what's happened? It's changed the order. There we go. All right. So I believe we've got a few images. And then I believe we're going to get something very special from Wasps at the end of this. <laughs> Special's one word for it. Do I need to give some context here? Give, give some context before I click on these images. I did just click I on see. one. I've had this little black notebook for years. I got it when I was like 18, something like that. And I basically kind of used it uh, kind of like the same way people use Twitter now before Twitter was a big thing. Where I just write little weird stuff in it. Little weird stuff. Pretty much. Like this. Like this one image. Uh, so yeah, so here we've got Pubic hair dryers, that's a low blow. You know, quality stuff like this. <laughs> um, Music is yeah, quite good. Yeah, hang on. I finish off what that says for you. Okay, oh, so on. here's the next image. Oh, I've got them in a different order, yeah. though. Oh, no, you, no, no you're just looking. Say, okay. it's just, you don't, I didn't send you the picture of that. It says, Music's quite good. I've heard over 32, 32 songs, and then in brackets says, and enjoyed some of them. <laughs> Fluffy saying is this it's your Bob Monkhouse joke book. Uh I suppose so. I don't know what that means, but sure. Oh, he had an amazing when he died, I think it was revealed that he had this incredible massive book of jokes that he'd written down, everything by hand, and it had amazing little illustrations and sketches. It's well worth a Google. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's all jokes. Like one page is uh got some recipes. <laughs> I'm even tempted one page, to uh, uh... I know, we won't do that now. Go on, go on, go on. Some pages have got some Scrabble scores in. Some have got some songs. Let's go to the next one then for you to read out to people. Uh, someone asked if I could make a joke about champagne, trying to come up with an absolute corker. Oh, God. I'm just going to pause, pause for laughter and chat there. Uh, I love the optimism oh, and you and said that And underneath that, with... it says putting Titanic on my iPod. It's currently sinking. And I feel like I might, like, I've seen that joke elsewhere since. And I, I like to think I, you know, I was one like of the that. first. Yeah. I broke it into, I had to split, it was so big, I had to split it into two. Oh, God. Right, let's go to the next one. Let's fly through these. <laughs> well, some can't really fly through, because they're a bit on the long side. Oh, yeah. No, so I'm only joking. Some there's some designs for some potential uh, Valentine's Day cards. So this is the front. Front. You are like a star. You are like a star. You see on the inside. Expanding. Expanding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is quite good. Okay, so that's uh, the cards. We've got lots of potential cards and postcards and prints out of tonight, I reckon. Yeah. John Atfield uh, asking, when is the fringe show? You can't see. It just yeah. says a romantic meal for two on the front. Yeah. On the inside, it says, won't make itself, you know. Oh, dearie me. That is like all cards in WH Smiths these days. Yeah. It's just sexist humor. It's ex yeah. humor about getting old and having saggy boobs or your testicles hitting the floor. Yeah. Or, yeah, they're just fucking awful cards. These what about days, this one? Uh, so on the outside, it's, okay. it says, you give me butterflies, and there's nice pictures of butterflies. And yeah. say on the inside, it says, in comparison to the diamond ring I gave you, I feel somewhat cheated. <laughs> that's, that's quite good, actually. You should have sent me Thank these you. ones. Right, next. What's this? Where are we next? Why does turning on the Christmas lights? Yeah, so why, why does turning on the Christmas lights attract such a big crowd? I turn on lights all the time and no one cares. Even when I get JLS to come and do it for me. <laughs> I just like the JLS reference. Yeah, I mean, that gives you an idea of the time frame, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> That's my main reason for sending that one. It's just right. to kind of give you the kind of idea of the time. Band yeah, names. So, band names, as Funkle Albert will know, I like to see where I can spot band names but these are all ones i've come up with in my head rather than spotting them in places 
Tell them but if I anyone... think there's lots of potentials here. Do I need to read them all out? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got Dragon Saddle. Maybe each one I say, you can have a guess what genre you think they would be. Um, Death Metal. Okay, Moomin Coke Party. I'm wearing a Moomin jumper right now. K-pop. Uh, the Slaughterhouse Jive. Oh, that's going to be some sort of awful, like, yeah, Jive Bunny. Um, it's just all rip-offs of, of, of uh, film themes. Yeah. Remixed. Uh, Alfie Rockhard and the Jumbo Jets. That's like the Wiggles. That's like kids, kid pop. Uh, Mango Chunks. Although Alfie Rockhard, maybe it shouldn't be. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Uh, Mango Chunks is like um, what? What? What genre were Chumba Wumba? <laughs> that's they were Tum- Chumba Wumba was their genre, I think. Okay, that's Chumba Wumba. Uh, baseball, but it's like a spoonerism. So the B for bass and the B from ball have been swapped around. Oh shit! Okay, that is math rock then. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> There's more to come. It's not just this page, everyone. Oh, oh, I forgot about all of these as well. Yes. Uh, lethal quinces. Lethal quinces. Um. Oh, I don't know. I kind of want chat to get involved. What's Lethal Quince's That's an guys? Adam and Joel reference. It wasn't, because I didn't... It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not intentional. Uh, uh, ramekins. Ramekins. Any of these? Any... Exclamation mark. Yeah, I like that. Uh, well, they've got Beef Compass, but that was meant to be on my inventions list. Oh, wait. That's for my inventions list. Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, uh, like wasps! Yes, go on. Lenin on a lamppost. <laughs> Lenin on a lamppost. <laughs> like it, like it, like it. Pate uh, for Dracula. Pate for Dracula. Allison's got your trousers. <laughs> you can see my pen run out. Yeah. Uh, limestone phallus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the next one too. Sauron's monocle. I think that's very good. That is a good one. Uh, shorts in autumn. That's like an emo band, I reckon. Yeah, uh, Artie goes on heroin. An orc scorn. Did you write that one on the bus, uh, or with your left hand? Oh, I've meant to say. Uh, <laughs> I have dyspraxia, so if anyone's like, "What's going on with his handwriting?" Feel bad now. Magic. Yeah, this is. Uh, what the magic fucking? What the everyone. fuck is wrong with your fucking handwriting? I'm now leaning into it because I feel bad. Oh dear. <laughs> no, I didn't think your ha- handwriting yeah, was bad. I just, I just, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think your handwriting was bad. I've been there where you get to the end of the page and so your hand isn't resting on the page and you kind of can't write properly. Honestly, I can't remember where I wrote these because it was so long ago. Okay. I don't know where I was. Uh, Catnip says they're absolutely the same. I can only write for five minutes. Yeah. Well, yeah, there well, you go. I'm very tired quickly too. Uh, was that the last one? That was the last one I had for you. Now. Oh, this is special, guys. In fact, let's bring up a let's bring up a picture of wasps. Uh, I don't know what happens if I Google wasps kill bears. Find uh, your Twitter. I don't think you'll get a picture of me. Yeah, be my Twitter. Uh, okay, there we go. Here's wasps, and now we can think about uh, when you're performing. We can all look at your face. Okay, let me actually find it first. Uh, so could get emotional. Story. There's well, there's definitely a, a there will be a strong emotion. Let's put it that way. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, I need to give some backstory here. So this mm-hmm. was probably written when I was like twenty one, maybe. Yeah. No, doesn't matter. Basically, I had a housemate, and they got given this book as a present, like a joke present called "Sex Made Easy." TOS. Uh, and basically what they're suggesting if there's ever a, a man's having, ever having you know is at half mast but not out of respect for the queen okay they need, yeah. if things aren't go, things are, I'm trying to do this in a twitch friendly way you know if things just aren't going to plan one um, suggestion the book has was uh, try reading some sexy poetry and I did not know that sexy poetry was a thing. Did you, uh, did you okay. know? Have you ever heard that sexy poetry being a thing? Um, 
I mean, you've seen some of my lyrics, so yeah, I, I, I probably wrote some wow. sexy poetry too. But no, well, no. I mean, I yeah, I did not know. I did not know. No, I didn't know it was a thing either. So I thought, well, you know, is it, have you written some sexy poetry? Is you about to ki- a... shut down my stream? So, I think it's it's pretty clean. Okay, let's hear it. I think. Brace yourselves, guys. Okay. I'm on camera and I have to listen to this, so You're this is camera. worrying for me. I need to. Okay, well, hands above, hands visible. The thing is, I have a slight delay, and I really want to see your reaction to the first line before I carry on, and then you can make a decision. Okay. First line is, pet genitals for intercourse. What? Fet? V- what? Pet? What? Set. Set, g- set genitals. <laughs> set genitals <laughs> for intercourse. Yes. Oh, carry on. Definitely carry, carry on. on. Bump. S- Grind. Dramatic pause. Four. Nine hours of foreplay. Red raw. So many positions never tried before. Such as the burning kettle, the rat battle, pride and prejudice, the captain's lettuce, the greasy chair, the Obamacare, exploring the cosmos, the disgruntled boss, shining the decanter, the secret Santa, the banana spider, the easy rider, the all bets in, the city break with Boris Yeltsin, the tennis coach, the Kez, which was developed by Ken Loach. Uh, the wizard stump, the Slovakian bump. Doing the dishes, gutting the fishes. That's a gross one. Uh, the aerial <laughs> torpedo, the damp tuxedo. The stick of the dump, engraving the pump. The last minute homework, the Argos twerk. The Carl Kennedy honk. The ascension of Mont Blanc. The truffle shuffle, the administrative kerfuffle. Uh, then you've got goalkeeper, zookeeper. Uh, all the keepers, so Lighthouse, uh, my brothers, uh, the, the Alamode and the Konami Code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, Jesus Christ, this is all very sexy. Fuck, fuck yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. can, can you go no. on? There's more to come. Please. Uh, I can't resist your central gyration. It's like a Beach Boys song. I thought you'd finish it off. A good vibration. Oh, sorry. Don't talk about uh, finishing off. Yeah. Now hurry up and apply the lotion. <laughs> it's the only way we'll get this sexual poetry in motion. That's good. Uh, <laughs> you, you can't. You. Sorry, boss, but you can't. You can't label your own stuff good. I mean, you already have. Oh yeah, uh, no, no, I label my own stuff good all the time, so that's fine. I am going to literally cover you in condiments and lick it mm. off you. Mayonnaise, ketchup, and horseradish, to name a few three of my faves cannot, sorry go on but uh, actually probably abide. my three faves but do carry on i cannot abide a second where our flesh does not collide like a mall- mallet to a xylophone or something else that uh, rhymes with xylophone <laughs> afterward we lie in silent reflection making notes for our poems in the hopes of maintaining some stress guy's erection because apparently nothing works better for collapsed meats than hardy wordsworth byron or keats oh my god that was a great end. And that whole thing was amazing. When did you write this? I uh, don't remember. Was this like when... 21, 22, something like that. So about Today, uh, says Mary Biscuits. <laughs> 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 oh shit, I've got my performance tonight, my recital. Um, were you like, did you do that work? Were you sat at a desk at home? I want to know the circumstances. I, I, don't, I don't really remember. I probably was just sat at a desk or... A- you know, Fraz says you read that from the tattoo on your torso. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. That was fucking great. I love it. Uh, I kind of want to see it. Is it written down in hand or have you written that out? Yeah, it's written down in hand and you can see where I've crossed things out and put arrows to change. Like, I'm really curious why I made this decision. It really originally was the damp. Well, it was originally called the sweat tuxedo. Then I changed it to the damp con- tuxedo and I, for some reason, decided to swap uh, aerial torpedo and damp tuxedo around for some reason. Don't know why. Amazing. What a guy. Fantastic work. Honestly, that is great. I mean, I wish we were that's ending. Just, that's, yeah, that's a real... There's lots of other stuff in this book as well. So there's lots of things in here. I mean, wasps. Oh, that, I, I honestly... 
I think a lot of us would like to read that again. So if you are happy to take a picture of that and then put it in the Discord or something, oh, it's, or in your own Discord. Seven, it's over quite a few pages. Is it? Ah, oh, you need to get scanning. Well, that's one thing. I don't know if you can tell from the pictures I sent. It's quite a small book. Yes. Hold on, let me go back to that. Yeah, that is a little small book, isn't it? My but God. yeah, I'll happily do it. It's just over quite a few pages. It's quite a lot of pictures. Hang Amazing. on. Amazing. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, or eight pages long. Maybe now's the time to type this up. Oh, I don't think it. I don't think it has the same effect. Okay. Or maybe we'll just clip it. Clip it from the stream, and we can all listen well, to it's it too again. Long. again. You'll, have to, you'll have to make it a highlight and everything. Okay, maybe we'll make it a highlight. Excellent. Oh, it was a highlight for me, and you are, and you continue to be a highlight for me in my life. Thank you, wasps. Oh, that's very nice of you. For uh, right. for being great. Oh. Uh, Wait to see what Lama's got. Lama's got some good stuff. I'm going to turn you right down now while I remember. And I'll see you later on. Oh, fine. Fine. No, no goodbye. That's how we're going to do it. Okay, no goodbye there. Just hang up. You continue to be a highlight of my life and jake and wasps it was all fantastic right let's have a look at some more of my stuff oh god one thing i'm going to show you very quickly okay this is cool but i'm not reading it all out because this is like kind of mad anyway <clears throat> here's something i wrote this is basically like a big this is like a big diary entry And I've written it all out, like, perfectly. And it starts like this. I'm not really sure why I can't sleep. I slept loads last night. That could be why. But I feel tired. It's 3.34 a.m. I'm watching something about puberty. It's odd and it's boring. My mind is empty. Anyway, so there's loads of shit like that. You don't need to hear all of that. Uh, I... Oh, my God. Will Slipknot duet with Asian Dub Foundation? So I'm asking the kind of questions we were all asking. Um, I hate college. Well, I hate the lessons. I enjoy the social aspect. Just loads of weird, weird stuff. And then it uh, ends and it says it's 4.05 a.m. Bye. So this is something I wrote and then I put in a drawer and then I found it. And I did, I folded it over and I did it again. Um, I'm back. It's way after Reading Festival. It was great. Anyway, it's 1.01 p.m. and it's half term, so I don't need to get up. Although I should do my homework. I'm so pleased that I'm over Laura now. Uh, <laughs> she has some magical thing about her, I think. Da 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 da. Uh, 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 uh. The end of the page is near. Da da da. Okay. Then I folded it over, put it in a drawer, and then much later, I did it again. It's strange how things change, not just the pen, but me. I haven't written for a while, and guess what? <laughs> Fuck, I didn't. I, I haven't proofread this. I haven't written for a while, and guess what? I want Laura back. I say back. Yeah, okay. I say back. I never fucking had her in the first place. La, 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 la. Uh, I, I can't wait to share a flat with James and Matt. I really hope it works. Never, no, never did. Duh, 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 duh. Will I ever be famous? I need my own drums. Well, that went to shit. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Never take anything for granted. Loneliness is the worst feeling ever. Anyway, folded it up, put it, put it in a thing. This bit is bad and I'm not going to show it because I fucking, I write some bad stuff on there. Folded it up. Uh, and this says, I don't know when I wrote this, but this says, bloody hell, can't believe some of the crap I used to come up with. I'm 21 now. 
So I, I write this and I'm like, I'm fucking grown up. Look at that idiot child. Bloody hell, can't believe some of the crap I used to come up with. I'm 21 now at home after work. Summer holidays between second and third year at uni. I want to go out. I love uni. Still love my mates. Life is pretty good. I was into. The, I love listening to the streets and stuff at this time. Uh, I'm single, but I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, I've changed a lot. And I now appreciate life a lot more. And I know I'm lucky. I'm going to... Sh- going to shower now. Sort out my shit hair. I never did. Never actually shorted sorted my shit hair. I then folded this. And I forgot about this until about... Well, exactly four years ago. When Funkle Albert and friend from the band who will not be named came over and I found this and we read it all out and I did the final entry, which is, I'm 35 now, time flies, I've got a beautiful wife and a wonderful daughter and life is great. James and, James and Matt are still some of my best friends ever, I'm happy. And a smiley face. And if I could bend it over again, I'd write, I just fucking showed all of this on stream. Llama. Llama, llama, llama. Do you want to get in the chat? I've revealed an awful lot. Uh, But now Llama's going to reveal some fucking great lyrics, guys. If you're into lyrics and you've enjoyed lyrics and you like angsty lyrics, you're about to hear some more. Come on, Llama. Don't, Don't worry about it. It's all good. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's come in with some positivity and excitement. <laughs> you know what's coming, though. Uh, I do. Let me know if Llama's too loud or anything. I've got Llama at 100%. I'm probably too loud. Uh... Right. Let's look at number one. Llama's lyrics. Boom. Do you want to read these out? Are you going to sing them for us? Should I get... Anyone got an acoustic out. guitar? Can I read it out? If you want. Guys. Llama song number one, no name. You can make fun of me now, but I won't be sat at a checkout when I'm 40. <gasps> the shade. Miss popularity. Hold on. Should we find out how old you were when you did this? Uh, That would have been... When would that have been? About 14? 14. Okay. That, I think that's really important to know. Can you put some There's acoustic some track on and sing it? Uh, classism in this. Um, Royalty. Oh, where am I? Hold on. Let me go on to Spotify. No, let's do it here. Royalty Look, was, free. It was a problematic time. Acoustic. I'm not proud of this. Guitar. Uh, no copyright music. What does that mean? It's not copyrighted. Jason Shaw. Okay, Jason Shaw is going to provide the the music to this. Searching for music for your next video? Just skip the ad, guys. It's going to be worth it. This is perfect. You can't hear it. I can't. <laughs> Do you just want to watch on the stream and then come back once I've performed? No, I don't think so. I just, just get it. You can make fun of me now. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. I can't fucking don't do it. it. Don't even say it. I'll just say it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let the music come round. You can make fun of me now. But I won't be sad at a checkout when I'm 40. Miss Popularity, take your cheap shot. It's a nice contrast to that £100 coat. Paint your face with that shit. You can't hide your stupidity. Acceptance only through fashions. To fall behind is to fall away. Trends changing every day. Gotta keep up. You're happy to blend in. Be like them. Who needs to be an individual anyway? I think it does need punk. Powerful Khan's uh, redeemed the highlight message. Sing. No, I wouldn't have been able to keep up. What was the backing track? I did. It was uh, solo acoustic guitar, but BP says it should be punk, really. It should have been, yeah. All right. Uh, don't do it again, though. Please don't. Don't do it again. What? Don't sing it again. Not the same one again. I think we just move on. Okay, let me just get another track for the next one. Am I going to get ads? Oh my god, it's exactly the same song. Uh, this is important, guys. We've got four songs. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. 
Lama, this is great that you're here for everybody to hear how embarrassed you are. <laughs> Double page of this one. We've got notes here as well. I'm just going to wait for this song to kick in. People are reading ahead. Don't read ahead. Oh, wait, people wait. can't see this. They can't see it? No, it's just you. Oh my god. Dickhead. Sorry guys, ready? You're going to miss some of it because of my face. Oh, this is a good one. You didn't see me googling either. I phoned Rob and he told me to meet him outside Virgin at two and I said, okay. This one's got chords if anyone wants to play along. And then I started worrying about a nuclear attack on Reading. Everyone would die. Including Virgin and the 99p store, which was actually the backup shop in the arrangement. But I'd be in Iceland at the time and then I would come back and I'd be like, where the fuck has Reading gone? Oi mate, do you know where Reading's gone? And I'd poke him and go, oh crap, you're made of ash. But then I'd remember that Rob put a guitar in a box just for me. And I'd open the box and play this song because you're all dead and I'm sat on the pile of ash that used to be Rob's head. Uh, oh my God. That is, well, I, uh, that is, that's great. That is, uh, that is really good. I mean, the chords are there if anybody wants to recreate this. I don't understand any of those chords. Well, other people will. Uh, Scrap water shit, can we make clearly, this track? This is going to be a B-side for sure. This was clearly in a Bill Bailey phase of life. Okay. It's really good. That's not embarrassing, that one. It's not. I'm quite proud of that one. Right, let me line up another acoustic track. The rest are much track. worse. Right, when, I, when Lama sent these to me, I only read the first two and I said I needed to save <laughs> oh, the next no. two. So I haven't read these next ones. Audio oh, jungle. I don't want that person saying audio jungle the whole time. Looking for the Bear best with cinematic me, guys. I've got it. It's good. It's good to have some music in the background as we read this beautiful poetry. I've got some actual good songs that I found in this notebook and I've just sent you the shite. This one's called Masquerade of Denial, guys. This is going out to all of chat. From Lama, from me. Ready up for the first one. I wish I'd asked you, time ago, miss my chance, have nothing to show. Stood amongst the birds that flew, left with only dreams of you. And now we're getting straight to the fucking chorus already. That's fine. A perfect match or so it seemed to open the door to where uncertainty, what? What does that say? Uncertainty, what? Teamed. Yeah. Is this music too loud? I don't know. We should have rehearsed. We should have rehearsed. We shouldn't have rehearsed. A perfect match or so it seemed to open the door to where uncertainty teamed. No one tried to resonate masquerade of denial. Reconcile very much. Reconcile. Why did I say resonate? I don't know. Reconcile was a much better rhyme. I'm fucking this. I want someone. <laughs> someone to return my smile and stay with me a little while. You don't understand. You don't have a clue. That someone is you, chat. Oh, How old again? Because this looks like grown up writing. This He's... was 15. <laughs> <laughs> he sees her with hungry eyes, the one for whom his heart can't lie. Get over it, they tell him so, but what do they know? See, my thing back then was uh, I just reversed the sexist so that it wasn't obvious that I was writing about somebody else. Mm, okay. <laughs> first one for chorus, first two chorus, first three chorus, bridge interlude solo chorus end. Okay, nice. That's nice. That's original. Yeah. Um, I might I might ditch the music and we'll just read the last one blind or not blind but you know what I mean with no music deaf no that's not right either here we go guys this one's called the jokes on you and this is also about you chat okay the nice things we said forget about those this is what Lama thinks of you 
I haven't read it. I've come this far, I shan't turn back, gained a conscience that you lack. There's one born each minute or so, they say, the expanse of ignorance in the world today. Such a sorry joke, it makes me choke. Such a goofy joke, it makes me choke. That's sorry again, I'm sorry. Oh, what? I've read that as goofy. I know. Such a sorry joke, it makes me choke. Such a sorry joke, it makes me choke. How did you think this would be performed? I think I might have actually performed this one. Well, step up. This is your moment. And somebody, uh, a woman in the audience came up to me afterwards and said, oh, I didn't know you could sing. And I had no idea who she was. There was an audience? Yeah. <laughs> what was this? Like bat- Battle of the Bands at school or something? Yeah, it was like a band thing. Were, uh... you, were, you, on, were you on Pop Idol? Yeah. Anyway, verse two. Tell me your name so I can start to forget you. Different look, different point of view. Your mind is lazy. You've got no perseverance. Gaze fixed at middle distance. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. It's bringing, bringing a tear to my eye. But at least you're over Laura now, right? How do you feel right now, Lama? Uh, like I want to die. <laughs> perfect you should get writing some lyrics in after this i feel like you're in the perfect mood uh bp thinks you should go solo no we need this when we when we bring out all the b the b sides to this album we're making mm. they're going to become the a sides thank you llama for everything mm. yeah thanks anything else you want to say i'm sorry Bye, Lama. Bye. At least I got a goodbye then. At least I got a goodbye then, hey? Hate to say it, Lama is the best at angsty lyrics. Blake Town. You have no idea. Let's finish on this bad boy. Let's fucking finish on this bad boy. Oh, is it timed out the phone again? Right. I think we do need the phone for this. So bear with me one moment while I refresh this. Uh, maybe I need to show you a video. I don't need to show you a video. I can do this really quick. It's going to be cool. Video source. Oh, it doesn't want to do it. I'm going to have to show you a video. We've shown them all, but fruit salad? Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy fruit salad. Lemon salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Yummy, 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 fruit salad. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Wow. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Oh, good. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Don't turn off. Don't switch off. Okay, I've got it. I just need to enter the code. Uh, I was ready. I I actually got this ready like two seconds into fruit salad, and then I was just sat here like this. Uh, fucking fruit salad, eh? Fucking fruit salad. What am I doing here? I'm going to click on this. This is a cool app, by the way. Any streamers? I mean, uh, 10.30 recommended it. Anything cool that I do. Uh, probably came from 10.30, let's face it. It is called... You go to vdo.ninja. And then you can link up your phone. There's loads of them. But uh, he said this was the best. Or the easiest. Or something. I can't remember what he said. There's probably better ones around now that don't time out. Why hasn't that worked? Let me just check if I I wrote in FL. I didn't, I wrote it in wrong. F, F FL, nine A, so so you just type in a little code. Yay, so hold on. Oh God, let me turn it this way. 
All right, so this is from a notebook. This is all Watershed lyrics. So again, if anybody doesn't know, Watershed uh, are the band that I sort of, um, me and Funkle Albert and a few others started. We made an album, but there are no actual songs. But it turns out I thought I hadn't written any lyrics and I had written some. Adam Richardson, fuck yeah. So this is like, look at this, Watershed, already working on the logo, guys. This is angsty shit, all right? Let's have a little read. I did this when I was about 16 or 17, okay? I feel like I need to say that every so often. You think that was tough, but you don't know what it's like when you've had enough. Wow. Oh, rhyming tough and enough. Oh, wow. That's that's clever. Um, you can't even begin to understand what happened when you weren't here. I don't know what that means. Emo backing music would be good hooves, wouldn't it? I'm not going to do it, though. Soz. <laughs> you can't even start to comprehend what is in my head with all those words you said. What does that even mean? I'm just writing stuff down, aren't I? You have no idea. Why did you go when I was so weak? I couldn't face myself. I'm not a freak. I wonder what percentage of our short lives we're spending listening to fruit salad. <laughs> Why did you go, why did you go when I was so weak? I couldn't face myself. I'm not a freak. Hashtag not a freak. Thank you, King Passwords. Let's get that trending. Um, hashtag not a freak. Don't touch me. It hurts too much inside. You're so lucky, which does look like cucky, that you're still alive. <gasps> That's a bit threatening, isn't it? That's probably TOS. Don't touch me. It hurts too much inside. You're so lucky that you're still alive. Hurts with two R's. <laughs> Hashtag not a freak. Uh, you have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea, chat. You can say what you fucking like. You can giggle. This is why you're not worth what I had thought that you were worth. But you're not worth it. Oh. Oh. Is that clever wordplay? This is why you're not worth what I had thought that you were worth, but you're not worth it. Hang on, hang on a minute. Am I worth it? I don't know if I'm worth it. And this is why you're not worth what I had thought that you were worth. No, you're not worth shit. <gasps> oh, fuck. I'm, I love past me. I, f wow. <laughs> you have no idea uh is this the last bit i think this is the last bit guys don't blame it all on me and tell me you're your where's the apostrophe re don't blame it on me and tell me you're the victim never stop being you you won't survive for long go back and don't return go back and don't return and don't return so what I'm saying is go back and don't return. Go back and don't return. And don't return. Okay? Because this is why you're not worth what I had thought that you were worth. No, you're not worth shit. Fucking kick that piece of paper across the room. Get a little paper cut. Get a little paper cut on my soft foot and write a little song about it. There we have it everybody i we just all showed some stuff we did show us your stuff do you know what this was it was this show us your stuff 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 hashtag not a freak thank you everybody for tuning in uh, it's been it's been something. I'm probably going to have deep regret for quite a while after this, um, but thanks anyway. Um, and yeah, this was all about another member of the band. Fucking yes, Ice. I appreciate that version. Thank you for lurking and enjoying it. Hashtag not a free. Uh, Llama has deep regret. I'm not sure how I feel right now. I've enjoyed it though. 
And that is mostly down to, thank you, Ice. you basically written the script for me there. Not Nice David, Fluffy Pink Blonde, Guzbo on Twitch, Mary Biscuits, Wasps, Kill Bears, and Lama Chan Gaming. Most of you know that they're all fucking lovely people. Um, but if you didn't, you do now. And if you missed any of their submissions, Twitch does VOD, so you can go back and watch it. You can fucking go back and watch it. Um, I'm not going to be streaming on Tuesday because because of the Queen's funeral. My The deadline for submission for Pod Bible is now moving to Tuesday, so I'm going to be fucking busy Tuesday morning. We've got some some stuff to sort out. Uh, Pip has been helping out with. Uh, so Tuesday, I am not streaming, but I will stream on Wednesday because we will have submitted the mag and we'll all be really happy. Um, so I'll stream Wednesday. Next Sunday, I won't do another Shersha stuff. I think I'm going to take a few weeks off Shersha stuff because it is uh, it's a lot of ad ad admin and it's a lot of talking. I'm, I'm going to be shattered after this. But everyone start thinking about what you might want to show. I'll start thinking of some subjects. So next Sunday, we're going to get back, if Lama's up for it, on It Takes Two. A lot of talking and a lot of emotions, Em, don't know. You're really, really correct chris is genuinely worried for laura's safety everything's fine i haven't seen laura since college um everything's fine hashtag everything's fine hashtag not a freak most importantly uh, big, big tough man is excited for shirts stuff band shirts or shirts stuff mugs those were two options shirts stuff comics i should write these down on a tiny little post-it shouldn't i that i then lose um Honestly, though, Funk Albert and my friend, the other friend who I haven't named. I don't know why I wouldn't say his name. In fact, it came up. His name's James. Uh, we all joke about this, like how funny it is to have felt so passionately as a teenager about stuff like that. Uh, what am I writing down? I'm writing down mugs. Could do this after. Not going to. I'm writing down comics and I'm writing down band T-shirts. Not band, B-A-N-N-E-D. Big tough man shows apps that you use once and stop using. No. Is she Laura Palmer? She's not. And if you if she was, I would say no as well. Didn't need to say that because now you think it is Laura Palmer. I don't know who Laura Palmer is. Um, yeah, so what else is happening? I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell you about before I went, but I'll remember. We'll do it on Wednesday. We'll talk about it on Wednesday. Um maybe I'll pop up on some evening streams. Who knows? Maybe there'll be some PUBG. Maybe there'll be some escape room at some point. Who fucking knows? Uh, but I will see you on Wednesday. Who are we going to stream? Let's see who's still streaming. Should we go and see what all the fuss is about at Grand Theft Auto Land? There's a new server. If people don't know about it, Quiet City RP. Uh, is that, have I said that right? There's a brand new um, Grand Theft Auto server that is open up to the community. People can apply. You could follow Quiet RP um, on Insta. No, that's a lie. There's no Insta. It's a Twitter. Stick around for the raid. I'm talking shit and I'll finish in a minute. But if you want to play some Grand Theft Auto, uh, then this is the place to go. It's run by Pooj. There's loads of good people in there. I can see a few people playing it. There's three. I've got three options for people to raid. We're going to raid Balmer. We're going to fucking raid Balmer. I just got a text from Pip now about Pod Bible, so that's exciting. You might have even heard that. Um, let's go see Balmer. Stick around. Stick around for the raid. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be great. Thank you for being my best mates. Remember, you're my best mates. That's how it works. Uh, let's mute that because I'm getting text from Pip. Keep, keep streaming. Please keep streaming. I've got nothing else to do after this. Please, I'm lonely. No, we're going to do the uh, we're going to do the raid. Right, that's the lamest thing I've done. And I did it right then at the end of the stream. Bye. Bye, basically. See you, VOD crew.